It's black. <laughs> Sweet. Can they hear me though? They can hear you. There what up, gamers? I'm here with Alex from 52 Miniatures. Welcome, Hi. Alex. How are you Thank doing you. today? Good. Yeah. I uh, came here today. All yeah. the way from Canada. I know. You were, I mean, you came here like, you were here three hours ago. Yeah. And now we're just here, right yeah. away. I got yeah. you in the content mill, just making things for me right away. Exactly. <laughs> We're playing Demon Ship today, a game designed by Malev in association with Black Sight Studios. It is a miniature wargaming micro war game. It's so small. It's so small. It's so Look cute. at how small it is. It's played on a, I know, like the, we have the dice tray so close because normally it's like all the way over here. And that would just be so far away for this tiny game. So we kind of condensed everything. Oops. It's very cool. Yes. So it's played on a six inch by six inch board that also uh, operates as the storage for all the game elements, which I just love convenience like that. I think it's Oh yeah, they go inside. Yeah, you flip it upside down, there's cool. like a lid back there. Cool. And we're good. Cool. Oh my god, it's Alex. He's stateside. He is here. You yes. were here. Why were you here? Why were you um, here? Um because of demonship. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually been visiting uh midwinter minis Dave in uh in Canada. Yeah. Yeah. You guys did a little bit of a we, collaboration. We, yeah we've been filming some having you know just hanging out. Yeah. It's been great. Yeah. And then um now you're here. Now I'm here, because huh? why shouldn't I be? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You're like, Canada's close to Minnesota, right? And I was like, That's kind of what it's I was like, not really, but uh, yeah. <laughs> you should Canada and Minnesota are the same thing. Everyone knows that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's awesome. I'm very happy to be here. Yeah. And uh, and they smell so nice. Do you like the, the like laser the cut MDF? Yeah. yeah. It's like. It's nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Minnesota is not normally covered in Canada smoke. Yes, we are definitely dealing with that right now. Minnesota is just little Canada. Funny story, there's actually a city very close by. Like if we went to Hub Hobby, it's, yeah. it's called Little Canada uh, okay. in Minnesota. So yeah. I actually met a guy called uh, Scratch Basing. That's a channel uh, on YouTube yesterday. At first I was like, his real name is Scratch yeah. Basing. I was like, dang. <laughs> you should meet his mother. Okay, no, uh, I met him just to, just for like an hour last night. Okay. And I said I was coming here. Okay. And, and, and he said, uh, yeah, they're just Canadians there. Yeah, basically. Yeah. 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 Okay, like I said earlier, we're playing Demon Ship. Um, and uh, apologies if we get some of the rules wrong. It's The rules are still in flux by Malev himself. He's changing them and gave us the most up-to-date version. But we'll try to walk you through how the game works. Um, so there are three phases to Demon Ship. You are initially trying to restore power to the ship. And then you are trying to activate the emergency protocols. And they are trying to escape through a working escape pod. If you do all of that before your pulse rate gets to seven, which is kind of like your health, yep. you lose. Or sorry, if you do that before getting seven, you win. You win. Yeah. If you don't, you lose. Yep. Um, it's a solo play game that does have versus and co-op modes, cool. um, but it is designed from the ground up as a solo play game, which is what we're going to be doing today in our little experimental run through. Yeah, because also uh, games in general tend to fry my brain. Yes. Um, so I'm just not much help. Yeah, so this, I think this is going to be more of a lightweight uh, game, and we'll, we'll try to control the survivor together, make choices together about what's best. Yeah. But I think in many ways the game kind of plays itself. Um, like. There are simple interactions. You roll a d6 on a four up, it works. On a, and below that, it doesn't. So it's kind of like okay, like cool. it's it's pretty transparent. Cool. So the each round, or sorry, the game is broken down into two different phases. You have the wits phase, which is where you do all of your actions as the player and also as the demons. Cool. And you also have the room phase, which is how you generate rooms, uh, which one you're going into, and when you exit, which one you're going to afterwards. Nice one. Right. So we are looking for specific rooms. Um, to do all the various things we have to do. So in the beginning, trying to turn the power on, we're looking for a certain room to be able to do that in. Nice. So, we'll do that. Yes, it is 52 inches for real. It is, for real. I'm here. <laughs> um, yeah. Can I do something? Uh, I guess, yeah, we can start. Um, I'm just reading chat a little bit. Yeah. Scott, please tell me this It's game. weird to see Alex in shots that aren't panning across. Well, we do have a panning shot, but Alex <laughs> isn't in it. Wait, but I can't. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It counts. I think the, I think the cable. Yeah, I think it's rubbing, shaking the whole. Yeah, thing. it's shaking the whole thing. I will address this yeah. in time. Okay, this is the this is like crossover of TMNT and Batman. Yes, kind of. <laughs> I suppose so. Which which one's Batman? Which one's TMNT? All right. Um, so I believe the first thing we do is we need to figure out what room our survivor ends up in, and so we're going to we're going to start with a room phase. And there are six different 
uh, numbered rooms you can have, and there is an A and a B version of every single room. You have the corridor, the armory, the cryo, the engine room, the nav bridge, and the escape pod bay. Um, I actually don't know exactly like how the initial setup works for like if you start in a specific room all the time or if you are always rolling, um, but I think we're going to just roll for our room. Um, nice. Yeah, and basically, yeah, you place room walls, discover and place room elements, place the survivor and other entrances, and then spawn demons. Who painted the minis? Um, the, uh, these official ones are proxies. These are proxies. We don't have the official ones yet. So this set actually came from Dan Malson. Uh, and so he gave us one of his survivors uh, that he painted up for demonship. And then these four, like, chaos cultists are actually, they were painted by John a long time ago. Oh, nice. Put them on the actual tray so we can see them. Yeah, he made um, this video on my channel reviewing paint sets. I don't know if any of you guys remember that one. I bet you guys do. You mean the first video that John ever did? Yeah, he painted these cultists. And we actually wanted to give them away in the video, but no one did the thing to enter into the giveaway, and so I just kept them. Um, and then the Inquisitor, who is our survivor, is uh, a model painted by me. Oh, and she has a magnet, and all the slots are magnet. Nice. That's nice. They kind of look a it's little a bit like It's a good thing they're not up. Yeah. What was that? They kind of look a little bit like his paint set. It's like the colors out of it. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I suppose so. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, I actually bought my first Vallejo startup because of that video. Nice. Cool. Will the STLs still be available after the pre-order day? I don't uh, make any choices like that for demonship. I'm assuming so, but the right person to ask would be Black Sight Studios, or if you have Malev's contact info, you should ask him. Yeah. Uh, we don't really know a ton about the game's development and stuff. No. Um, so let's spawn a room uh, and get started. This is so we're in the we're in the room phase right now. I'm going to have to sit here and just like, very quickly read rules. Roll a d6 to see which room it is. All right, cool. So we're rolling a d6, and we'll see what we get. We got room number four, which is what? Should be the same in this thing as in yours, right? It is, yeah. So we got the engine room. Um, and I believe, uh, they are, like I said earlier, they are split into A's and B's. And you just need to pick one and stick to that one for the entire game. So we'll just do A. And we'll begin setting it up. So 4A has one console, one locked crate, and discover barrels. So Black Sight Studios is in the chat, by the way. Nice. You can definitely help me with rules. Yeah. <laughs> so we have some some barrels. We have a console we need to mess with. Uh, one console, one locked crate, and discover barrels. So I need a locked crate, which it looks like this is probably a locked crate. All right, cool. So I love this. It's a, it has a lever. Yes. And that actually might be a, this might be a great room to find right away in the beginning. Maybe that maybe console. Maybe that's the power. Maybe that's the power. Maybe yeah. that's the power. We'll find out. Easy. Um, oh wait, great, awesome. They're there to answer the question. Um, mostly baby bath time. Okay, <laughs> that's probably more important than uh, reviewing our rules. Um, okay, so there is an entrance. Yeah. E um, one is in the corner, uh, and then the other entrance is in this corner. Of course. Nice. Um, and then there is... I'll remove the demons. Yes. That's a good idea. Also, we'll just get rid of all this stuff before we figure out where it actually goes. Um, so here's the problem. I don't know like what L and B and C mean. L, B, and C. Could that be the same thing in here? Maybe it refers to... Oh, you know what? There's a freaking picture of the thing. That's so much easier. We'll just look at the picture. Yeah. All right. Can I read the intro page? You may. The sound of metal groaning and accompanying shockwaves of force that hit the ship tosses you violently across the room. After a few moments, you've managed to stumble to your feet unhurt. So many thoughts flood your mind. What happened? You know the ship is without power. Something is very wrong. Horrific noises, echoes from out of sight and instinctively you reach for your trusty weapon. With a sense of defiance, you prime it for action and venture into the cold darkness to look for answers. Oh man, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. Okay. This is the alpha rule book, right, Scott, is the question. Uh, the one you're holding is, is, yes. Yeah. 
Um, but uh, Malev did send us a digital updated version that uh, I am referencing on my phone at the yeah. moment. Um, I'm sure there are no substantial changes between them at all. No, not none whatsoever. Okay, I need to make sure I do this right. And then this goes here, yes. And that turns. And then this big AC vent thing goes right there. Oh, nice. And then the console and the locked crate go somewhere, but I can't necessarily see them on the image. Callum says, I just wanted to say that after watching 52 Minutes' video, I remodeled my hobby room and got 90% CRI lights and cameras and stuff. Oh, you talk about like high CRI yeah, lights, lights be, yeah. and stuff like that? That was a great video. Thanks. Was this a recent one? So uh, the one before his most recent, I believe? Yeah, a while back. It was with... Uh, John also did something on lights, and so I, I made his uh, prequel. Sequel. Ooh, okay. Oh, right. Yeah, it was the, I remember you saying it was like the unofficial sequel yes. or something like yes, that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We're being asked if, I, if uh, I'm going to the mausoleum hangout this Saturday. Oh, uh, probably not. Probably I mean, not. I assume you could be. That's going to be earlier in the morning. I mean, I, you could be there if you wanted to be there. There's a reason I why. I you, don't even know what it is. It is a, it's a Patreon thing. Oh, okay. Um, where me and some patrons get together and talk about, like, there's, like a, there's like a challenge that we do every single month. And this this month it was uh, display bases. Oh, okay. And so everyone's going to work on that. They're going to show what they did, get some feedback on it, and then oh, uh, we'll work cool. through everyone's submissions. Yeah, and if uh, you want to be a part of that, well. That sounds nice. Get signed up for the Patreon. Yeah. Cool. It's like one of the higher tier rewards, right? Yeah, it's the highest one. Oh. It's the it's pay me some real money. And I, can, <laughs> and I can be in it for free? Yes. Right on. I mean, I might charge you later. <laughs> I all right. Cook, I can cook dinner. Uh, we are all set up. Cool. And so there are two entrances. This is such an awesome little game. I know. It's so cool. Um, and I need to just put my character in one of the entrances, and I am basically working toward getting to the other entrance um, or interacting with any of the things in the room. So this room has a special rule. Yeah. The console is an emergency control panel. Interact to restore power to the ships, right. primary systems, and progress the game into the emergency stage. So this is actually the best room to start in because this is the first objective we need to do. Cool. Uh, so the so I guess while we're here, we want to get there. We want to get there. Out. Yeah. But unfortunately, uh, well, actually, for the purposes of the game, we need to spawn some demons. Of course. Um, so let's do that. Stefan is asking if I'll be traveling around the States. Um, no, I'll be here with Scott. That's yeah. it. That's it. Yeah, that's it. It's, it's far, far more than enough. Okay. So now the one thing that I'm confused about is... Uh, the six by six board, yeah, yeah, I know the table is so gigantic. Um, Black Side Studios, if you could answer this question: When I'm spawning demons in a given room, is is the way that I spawn it always the same? Uh, does it depend on the room that I'm in? Um, I see the spawning rules and how to roll dice for them and how it determines where they go and what, which ones they are. But uh, how many do I spawn? Oh, cool. Good question. Oh, hello, Allison. It's one of my patrons are in. Oh, nice, cool. wonderful. Allison Silver Paints. Yeah. Nice. She uh, she did this great thing, uh, Adepticon, I think. Was it Adepticon, Alison? I get confused with all the cons. She did a cutout of me, and it called oh, it... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I saw that everywhere. Yeah. Called it flat, flat Alex. Absolutely, Flat Alex. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. And so I got to meet lots of people in a flat state. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Vince was everywhere at that con. It was crazy. Yeah, it's like there was multiple people. Yeah. Um, oh, so we don't really know how many how many demons we're spawning. It right? says, yeah, it says you will be instructed to spawn demons. The survivor yeah. point, the survivor's current space is the spawn point. Um, but um, it doesn't say like when I summon right when I entered into this room to spawn demons. I'm just assuming that it happens uh, automatically. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, a couple of viewers here in the chat. Roll the yeah. number oh. of pulse dice equal to the survivor's pulse rate. That is how you... Oh, yeah, no, no, no. That is how you determine action and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I'm searching spawn right now. Yeah. All right, why don't you do that while we interact with chat? To be frank, Malev has walked me through 
interactions, but I'm by no means the authority. I've pinged Malev, he's in security at an airport, we'll be answering shortly. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is, this is amazing. Um, yeah, I think this is one of the one things that I'm not fully sure on, uh, is like exactly when or uh, how many demons get spawned when you enter into a room. Okay, here we yeah. go. Demon spawn. Demon spawn. You will often be instructed to spawn demons. The survivor's current space is the spawn point. The spawn role informs which demon spawns, and the spawn style informs how they spawn. There are three spawn styles, ambush, prowl, and attack. Spawn roll. Roll a d6. Roll it. One. They're right behind me. Oh, yeah. oh, roll no. immediately again. Five. Spawn two blade demons. It's blade. an ambush. Okay. Two blade demons. We'll grab the one with more of a melee bend and oh, those are good yeah. too. All mm -hmm. right. And I need to roll again to see where they go, right? I think they're right on top of you. Is that what it is? It's an ambush. What's that? That does make sense. Spawn adjacent or as close as possible. Oh, so okay. this is right next to us. All right. So this guy is going to be on top of me. Right in that space, and then his buddy is going to be right next to him. Holy cow. Well, it's guys, it's been cool playing demon shit. I know. We're about to die. <laughs> we got a great room, and now we're just like... Okay, so it's just you just roll on this chart. That's all it is. Yeah, so there's there's yeah. this spawn roll chart, and sometimes it okay. tells you to do other stuff. Have we got right. an 11 in the chat now as well? Great. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, you're, now you're dead, maybe. Dead says. <laughs> All right, so now, so now with the room... Oh, yeah, you know what? We should do some bets. I think it's possible we're going to play more than one game of this, depending on how things depending go. Depending if we die super fast, oh, yeah. yeah. So we can die now. Yeah, so cool. we are now out of the room phase, and we're now into the wits phase, and that begins by rolling uh, your pulse dice. And at the beginning of the game, your pulse rate is three. It's a moderate heart rate. You're not too freaked out just yet. And so I'll roll three. And I'm going to organize these into... Uh, one to three and four to six. And so right now at this current roll, I have one survivor action available and then I have two demon actions. Um, so this is the, the wits phase. Um, okay, okay. We're gonna do some something different tonight. Are we? Yeah. You might not wanna bet all your points on this boys and girls because we're going to start doing bets on specific game events. We got one minute to gamble your channel points. Will <laughs> Scott survive this? Each we'll time we come into a new room and a new situation, I'll try and do another one. Standing in the airport security line watching this. Yeah, um, yes, Matt, well, this is the Alex. It is the Alex. Yes. Uh, oh, man. Roguelike minigame. Where's that take my money email? Yeah, dude. Heck yeah, Dan. Thank God you put yours together because none of us did. Um, all right. So we rolled the pulse rate. We do yes. the demon pulse actions yes. first, then survivor actions, then demon mirror actions. All right, cool. So um, we have a result of a one and a three for our demon actions. So let's see what that uh, equates to. So results of one, demons attack. They deal damage based on the demon and attack type. And the results of a three is an evade. Okay, cool. Um, and so we will res uh, resolve the actions in this order and we'll start with the demon that's closest to us. So the ones closest to us, we'll do the evade first, then moves, then attacks. All we have is evades and attacks. Yeah. So we'll start by evading. So basically all evading is in this game is I'm gonna put a token on him. And the next time he gets hit, the attack does no damage. He just evades that attack. Oh, okay. And then a three is a swing. He's gonna swing at me. And this is a blade demon, Evan blade said. Demon. Yeah, with blade demon. And every kind of demon has a, a, a kind of different profile, but a blade demon has an HP of two, a move of three, and a melee damage of one. And so he's gonna hit me once. I'm gonna take one damage, but I do have the ability to dodge whenever I take damage. Uh, and so I'll try to roll a four up, and I do. Bad. And so I dodge that swing. And now, uh, if we go back to what the pulse dice were, it was a one and a three and a five. So now I get to take my survivor actions. Um, so I have a- uh, hit them back. I, yes, yes. I, I could do a couple different things. Um, there is a list of six actions to pick from. Right. Um, and I don't have to pick one based on what I rolled. I get to pick from the list. Uh, so based, based on uh, what's best for me. Um, what have we got? We have blast or bash, which is deal two damage to one demon. 
We have Spram or Cleave Kick, which is deal one damage <laughs> to two targets. Pretty good. Yeah. We have Move or Blitz. Move up to three spaces. This also allows you to move through demons. So if we wanted to like get oh, so some we could space, like run, run and pull the lever and yeah. run out of the room, kind of a thing. Yeah. We we might take damage moving through demons. Yeah. As someone's considered. Yeah. You also have running gun, which is move to two spaces and deal one damage. Um, not terrible. Uh, and then we have style on them, which is move up to two spaces and gain an evasion token. And then we have interact or item. Items are like these barrels we can mess with. Interacting with this locked. Uh, thing over here, okay, or the yeah, console. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's just start with a good old-fashioned blast or bash. Bash, bash. Um, I'm going to, I feel like I want to deal damage to the demon who isn't evading right behind us. Um, definitely catch the VOD, time to get children in bed, have fun lads, awesome Matt Wood. Have a great night, dude. Such a juicy multiplayer on being a doubter here. Wait, what, what? Multiplier. Oh, right, yeah. The bet, baby. <laughs> the bets are going. <laughs> mm. Thank All you right. for the welcome, Jonasaurus Rex. Uh, Kalamak, how you doing? You want an autograph? That's nice. Okay. So I think what we'll choose to do is we will... Minotaurium a... just subscribed. Oh, thank you, Minotaurium. Welcome b aboard... The ghost boat, Alex. <laughs> Guys, it's called demon ship. I don't know if you know. Um, okay, so I'm gonna choose to do spring. Uh, I'm gonna do a cleave kick, which is deal one damage uh, to two targets. Um, oh, so we get one on each. We're yeah. gonna get one on each. Yeah. But this this guy in the middle has an evasion so, token, so he doesn't take it. The first point of damage gets uh, gets evaded, but that token is longer on him. Okay. So this guy's got one point of damage. He's at full health. All right. So that was the 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 survivor actions. Yeah. The last phase of the wits phase is the demon mirror actions. So based on what the survivor picks to do, the demons then get to reciprocate uh, that. And so based on what we chose, a cleave kick. So they're going to cleave kick you back. Kind of. It's kind of like that. Yeah. Uh, it's going to equate to another demon attack. Okay. So it's one damage to me, uh, and I have a, uh, a chance to dodge. So we'll give, uh, give that a shot. And we don't. And so our pulse rate goes up by one, and we're now at a pulse rate of four. And that was the whole wits phase. That was, we generated our, 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 our pool, yeah. the demon actions, survivor actions, demon mirror actions, done. And so now we're into the next wits phase, and our pulse is four now instead of three. Mm -hmm. So now we're roll four dice. So why don't you do that, Alex? I'm gonna Let's roll see four how dice. many actions we get and how many demon actions there are. We need some, okay, good split. So two and two. All right, not bad. All right, so again, start with the demon actions. Twos are demon move. Do we spawn, spawn more or is it just the we two? We don't. I think they just stay. In yeah. this room. And yes. Then, yeah, that's, that's comforting. Yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, with the results of your old two twos, uh, a two is demons move. Move demons its move value toward the survivor. In Which this is... case, it doesn't do anything. No. And so that uh, when the demon can't do the thing, it actually just downgrades uh, to the next value, which is an attack. So this is actually going to be two attacks on us. Yeah. Uh, from this one guy. Uh, so that's two opportunities that we have to dodge. So why don't you roll 2d6 to uh, to dodge both of these points of damage. All right, Alex, we need to have a chat here. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first room. We're going to die. Uh, oh. uh, <laughs> there we go. Okay, so okay. now we have a we pulse have rate of five. Yes. Okay, so we're hurting right now. Yeah. But at least there are so no... So seven, seven and we're out. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I think what we just do is we just cleave kick twice here and just kill both of these guys. Of course you do. Right? Yeah, easy. Yeah. You got this. So we, we, have, we have two actions to ourselves, so we'll cleave kick with both of those, uh, which is dealing one damage to two uh, demons. Um, it is called Clear Friends. You are correct. Um, how, ma how many damage do the demons have? They each have two health. Okay. And this one already so, has so one, so one damage. Down. Yeah, so, uh, so we'll, we'll kill them both yeah. in, in that one action. So it was, it was challenging, but, uh, but we made it. And so this is kind of weird. Now that, now that both demons are dead, I'm assuming we have the ability just to like run around and like interact with like yep. crates and Checking stuff. Them, right? Yeah. And so these are barrels. It's, I, I believe the only purpose of a barrel is to shoot them and they explode and cause fire. Um, but uh, let's just 
Let's not do that. And we'll if there are no demons present in the play area when you roll your survival's pulse dice, any results of one, two, or three will be discarded, and instead a single spawn roll will be made. Oh, fuck. They More demons. Back. Oh, no. More Demon. Okay. All right. So let's do it then. Potentially. Potentially. So, so that was the wits Save phase. From demons. Um, all right. So now we're in like the third wits phase, and our health, our pulse rate is a five. Yeah. And so we'll roll it. And you said any, and if I roll any one, twos, or threes, we spawn more. Will be discarded, and instead a single spawn roll will be made. Yes. Okay, so right. one, we can get one demon. Yeah, we've got. You got a one. We've got all right. One. So one, got, ones yeah. and twos go away. Right. And you make a spawn roll. We have two player actions at our disposal, um, and we have uh, to make a spawn roll. So let's do it. Do a spawn roll. All right. So that was what we did at the very beginning of the room phase. Let's see if I can figure it out for myself this time. What's the survivor mini being used? It's on uh, the it demon is. spawn chart is on page thirty-eight. Thank you. Um, it is a Inquisitor Gray Fax model that I converted with a couple of sister battle bits. Oh, cool. We, uh, me, Vince, and Sam and John got together and made a. Um, Three Musketeers diorama, and so all the people oh, have right. like swords pointed up uh, to the middle, um, so they can like you nice know, one. yeah, yeah, do the thing. Exactly the thing. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so I'll roll a dice here. It's worth noting that whenever we roll a six in a room, we have to keep it, uh, and then if we get three sixes, then we get to unleash the beast. But I don't think we've really rolled any sixes yet uh, for our player. Oh, actions. that's the thing we can do. That's yeah, what we do. We, yeah, we turn into we can like turn into a demon ourselves. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I've been looking for sixes and haven't really seen any. Yep, no. All right, you rolled a four. Yeah. Yeah. So a four is demons. Demons. Oh dear. <laughs> any two or one. Prowl spawn two blade demons. Oh, so oh. prowl is spawn with in four spaces, out of line of sight if possible, including wall spaces. All right. So four. Four. So blocking in the corridor. That would right be. There. If I would de- be a demon, I'd. That's where. That's where you would go. Yep. All right. We got one hiding right there. Uh, and then maybe like right here. Yeah. All right. Cool. Okay. So we did a spawn, um, and, and now we have two. We have two player actions at our disposal. So I suppose we should like begin moving around maybe a little around. bit. Yeah. Or even like this because here could be in, like try and run past yeah. the thing later on. But actually, oh my gosh, you know what we should do? Because maybe not fighting the demons is smart. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think this. I think. Because this guy is kind of like here, yeah. we should we should shoot this barrel, which lights it on fire, oh, yeah. which makes every adjacent space light on fire. And then he has to walk through it, and when he does, he'll probably take damage. Yeah. Okay. So How long does the fire last? Um, I think it's a per- persistent effect. Don't you have to get to that other door? Um, oh, fuck, we do. <laughs> oh, wait, no, there's a spot over here, though, right? There's a gap right here. Yeah, um, yeah. There's I can, a gap. We can, we can go through there. Yeah. Yeah. And so, what we'll do, uh, I'm going to get back my, my list of player actions. Um, we'll spend one of our player actions on a blast, which, uh, that isn't going to work. Yeah. Okay, it kind of does. Yeah. Which uh, explodes that barrel and lights it on fire. Evan, if you could look up the exact rules of that, that'd be very helpful. Um, and then, what else should we do? We can move. Um, Barrels of fun from Doom 2. Yes, exactly. I mean, I think it's, it's very heavily inspired by that for sure. Um, I think we'll do a run and gun, which is move up to two spaces and one, deal one damage. One, two, yeah, because then we can like shoot that thingy, maybe. Yeah. We have a gun, right? Or is it we just. Do. We do, have, we have a yeah. gun and a melee weapon. Oh, okay. It is not forever persistent. Okay. The target space and every adjacent space is on fire. Spaces affected by the fire deal one damage to models occupying or moving through them. Uh, barrels damaged by fire will explode. Fire dissipates at the beginning of the following wits phase. Okay, cool. Okay. So not not yeah. bad. Yeah. So um, running gun is move two spaces and fire. And unfortunately, one two does not allow us to. Oh, you know what? I think the way it works is I have to draw a line of sight from the corner of my square to the corner of that demon square. So while I can't see that dude. I actually can't see, can see that dude. So I'll, yeah. I'll blast that guy. Let's blast him. He takes one damage. Um, it is a game after all. It is game. Yeah. We need to blast things. We do. Yeah. All right. So we. Well, we chose... says if you explode barrels and then use move actions, silly demons will mirror themselves into fire and die. Oh, idiots! Yeah. <laughs> God, demons are so fucking stupid. So stupid. Okay. 
So yes, that is the next phase. We did a blast action to shoot the barrel, and we did a running gun action to shoot the demon yes. right there. And yes. so now we do the demon mirror phase. So based on that, we'll do a demon attack. Um, they can't do that because they're not nearby us. These are blade demons. They don't have a ranged attack. Uh, and then we did the running gun, and so we'll do a demon move. And Malev, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe the one who moves is the one closest to us, which is this one. Yeah. So he'll move. He'll move two. Now, I don't know if he, I don't know if I do the attack first or second. Um, that'd be a great question. I think it makes sense for the demon to. Malev move. says you are correct. This is the closest one. All right, cool. And so, um, for, Malev, for the mirror actions, we had a demon attack and we had a demon move. Is, he, is the demon always going to move first and then attack? Oh, you do? Oh, perfect. You do mirror actions in the exact order you did things. That's fantastic. So this guy will swing at air yep. and do nothing and then move at us. Yep. All right, cool. So we're into the next wits phase. Um, the barrel did nothing because <laughs> this guy didn't end up moving. Um, at least I believe that's how it works. You don't, you don't move every demon and attack with every demon, right? It's just the one that's closest to you. And if he, they can't do the actions, then the other demon does it, I believe. All right, so we're in a new wits phase. Our pulse rate is still five. Why don't you roll these dice, Alex, to see Certainly. how many actions we can See how fast we can end this game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a six. Okay, we got a six? Yeah. All right, so one six is uh, contributing to our, um, our number of the beasts. So you have to, have to remember that. Remember that one. Did you, do you remember what you rolled? Was it a one and a three? Trick question. Okay. Yeah. I can't remember it, but that yeah. seems good enough. That sounds correct. Pulse actions convert, though, to do things they can do, is what Malev says. Uh, yes, yes, yes. I know that. Alex, before you get back to Europe, get some scale 75 artist heavy acrylics. You're going to love them. I mean, I can get them in Europe. Yeah. I believe they're from Europe. Yes, I think I Sorry, think I, I think they're in Spain. Room. I think they're in Spain. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have some. Um, do you have some? The, the heavy acrylics. Yeah. Do you like them? For certain things. What do you like them for? Like highlights, for some reason. Okay. It's like they they're kind of thin. Yes, they what, are like, like, like you transparent. Water them down and they're kind of transparent. Yeah, so you yeah. Can sort of highlight with them without it just being too harsh. Yeah, that was my experience. Um, I uh, I painted over a, like a white primed model with them and it yeah. took a long time to kind of get opacity and then, up. but uh, yeah, once yeah. it did, it was fine. Yeah. All right, we got a one and a three for demon actions, um, which is results of one are uh, attack and results of three are evade. Um, and so this one in front of us is gonna evade and then swing at us. Yeah, same as last time. Same as last time, yeah. all right, so. I'll roll the dodge this time and see what we get. Hey! Another six. Our second six. Yes. So that's that's the number. That's the, the second one. So we're looking for a third one that we can do the number of the beast. Yes. Um. Oh no, my dog ate a whole a whole tube of something. That's oh, not dear. good. What the heck? <laughs> Organic all-purpose balm. God damn it, dog. Okay. <laughs> um, bullet is. She's naughty. Um, okay, uh, so he's gonna swing at us. We dodged it, fantastic. But then he will have an evade token on him. I'll yes. just remember it instead yes. of putting one on yes. there. But now we have three actions at our disposal because you rolled three yes. four up dice. Yes. And so we can do a couple different things here. So uh, can we run past him? I think because we can. Does that hurt, hurt us? It, I, I think it does. I think it's gonna be the same thing as if they were hitting us. We have to oh, roll okay. to... But we get to the other side. Yeah. Okay. The other thing is, is we could we can gain an evasion token ourselves. So then we run through him, we just automatically dodge the damage. Um, so let's, let's consider doing that. Because it feels like we've only gone two squares and we're <laughs> almost dead. I know. <laughs> This game's hard. So we should run. We should run. <laughs> yeah, we should. Okay. Um, we'll do a blitz, which is move up to three spaces. And um, I believe I read in the rules that we are able to move through uh, demons um, when doing this. Uh, so we'll try to do that. So yeah. we'll go one, two, three. And I'll know this, uh, this person's base is too large for this game. I did not think about that. Oh. Uh... But we can. What a Chad. We can. Can we, can we finagle it? Yeah, we can. No. Because <laughs> of, of the magnets. Yeah. Right there. But that's, that, that really suits that mini. It does. It's like le levitating. Yeah. D'Artagnan. 
Yes. <laughs> 25 millimeter bases are recommended. Yes, yes. we are discovering this. <laughs> okay, um, I can grab a new model too. Uh, we'll do that maybe later. Okay, um, so we did a move. We moved through a demon. The demon gets a free swing at us. Why don't you roll in a dodge roll? I can't see it. What was it? I won. <laughs> okay. A pulse rate of six. six. Yeah. We have two more actions at our disposal, though. Yeah. So maybe we blitz again. Is there? Is there like any? There's no like. Uh, there are like health drugs. There and are stuff. Yeah. There are. So over here, um, there is uh, a potential health potential potion health or not, and then there'll be another two demons. And so what if we? Oh, here's what uh, we do. What if we like run over here? Yeah. And then shoot this barrel to light it on fire. Okay, yeah. Actually, you know what? Let's not do that. Let's move first. So we're going to blitz again. One, two, three. And then we have, we have one action left to spend. Um, so it's Turbo Dork. Alex should be picking up all in the States. Yeah, that's probably right. I've never seen Turbo Dork in, in Sweden. But, uh, and I never painted with color shifts. Turbo Dork is they That's have the shifty some of those, things, right? Yeah, they have yeah. some of those at the source. If you do want to pick yeah, them that up, that could be fun. Yeah, I've got I've got like 0 0.03 kilos <laughs> of space in my bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you were mentioning that your weight limit was 25 kilos and uh, you had 24.7. Yeah, yeah, that is pretty close. Um, did, we, did we get the third six? No, we didn't. We've got two sixes so far. We're waiting for the for the third one. Yeah, we Cause, are because. That's good as well. We could just stall around until we get that. Yes. <laughs> that is true. What were you thinking? So we have one action left to spend. Yeah. We're we are not we're not adjacent to this thing, right? We no, have to move not. one more space. Yeah. Can we S shoot all the way over there? Because that one's got one down, hasn't it? We could. No. No, we shot that one. That one's full health. That one's one. Yes. Yeah. And this one has an evasion token. We have to get rid of it at some point, right? Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. We might, we, we could possibly die right now. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> the demon mirror actions are brutal. The fact that they mirror what you do and get their own actions, yeah. that's tough. Yeah. Um, I kind of want to, I kind of want to just move again, which seems lame. But if we just move again, he won't attack us right now, but he'll get really close to us. Mm. Shoot, I don't know what to do. Wait, this one is technically closer. So maybe this yeah, one will actually uh, move. Maybe. That one is the closest one, yeah, sure. Yeah. One, two. Hey, Evan, what's the move on a blade demon? Is it just two spaces? Two, I think. One, Hang two. On. So we're safe for a while. One, two. Almighty actually. Spaz says, good promo for the game. Just pre-ordered my copy. Nice. Nice one. So yeah, for our third action, what we'll do is we'll actually use the standard blast action. Move is three. Oh, oh shit, okay. <laughs> okay. All right, fuck it. We might die right now. Yeah. Let's, let's do it. <laughs> We're gonna blast this demon right here. So he evades the first point of damage and takes one point of damage. So these yeah. guys both are at half health yeah. at the moment. Yeah. All right, time for demon mirror actions. Oh. They go in the same order we did. Yeah. We did two moves and an attack. And so that means the demon is going to... One, two, three, four. Yeah, they can both get to us. Yeah, I think this one's closer. One's closer. So he's gonna go one, two, three. One, Five. two. And he's gonna swing at us. Swing. All right, you need to you, roll. I, you need to roll a d6. This game is over if it's not a four, five, six. Okay. You're putting the pressure on him, Scott. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no! <laughs> All right, we did not escape the demon ship. We did not escape the demon ship. Hard game. Okay, yeah. let's rack it and reset it and do yeah. it again. All right. The no's have it. Those twelve percenters. How are the bets going? Oh uh, man. Someone, some people are going to be big winners here on this one. <laughs> Malev, did we do everything kind of correct to your knowledge? Uh, let us know. Helen Fire was spawned to be released. This is true. Um, we almost had the number of the beasts. That was so close. Um, okay, so. Should we keep on going with D'Artagnan? Or, no, or we, should we, we get a we smaller should, based uh, hero? We should get a smaller base. Yeah. All right. Um, Helen Fire was spawned to be released. It sure was. That's a song. Yeah. Joe says, welcome to Minnesota. Thank you. I'm very glad to be here. Um, it's a bit surreal. Getting off a plane and then getting on a demon ship. <laughs> <laughs> All right, chat. The rack and reset ability is appealing. It is. Um, I mean, it's kind of, it, it could, 
could it default to like, it's so fun to see a new room that it, it doesn't really matter if you die? That's kind of a good thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like, it's a new little adventure every time. Yeah. And it doesn't really matter if, but well, I don't know, you're kind of competitive, aren't you? Um, Which oh, is, not in this kind of game. Yeah, no. no, this is just pure fun for yeah, me. Yeah. Um, cause like I you're mean, we're going to play until you win. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> but we want to see some more rooms. and We do. Yeah. We do. Yeah. And, I wanna wanna see, and we want to see what kind of hero you're going to be. Yes. Yeah. I do also want to be mindful of the fact that Alex has traveled on a plane today, is likely jet lagged and maybe tired. This is true. This is true. Normally we stream for until 10 p.m., but I think we might call it earlier. Well, All right. See, see how we go. So let's do, let's do another room phase. Um, we'll use we'll use this guy oh, as right our survivor. On. Yeah, that's um, a good space traveler. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we'll do the we'll do the B side now for the rooms instead of the A side. Let's do Melissa. Yeah, as far as I can tell, y'all are doing great, but you only get to hold on to sixes for the number of the when you dodge. Okay, not post row, so just dodging. Very cool. So we had only one six then. Okay, so it's kind of uncommon to get the beast thing. Yeah, I think it's yeah. more kind of like a definitely an edge case thing. Yeah. So why don't you roll a d6, Alex, and see what room we get. All right. Ooh, it jumps over. In the box. It's a four. Got to do it in the box. Roll it again. Roll it again. Okay. Oh, so we want, we want a different room. All right, five. All right, we got a five. So the five is the nav bridge, a room containing the ship's navigation equipment and controls that allow the crew to monitor and control the ship. Cool. All right, so we're doing B. But in theory, we still need to put get the electricity going. Like yes, if we would be, yeah. Yeah, honestly, so this, so this, four is the ideal role. Four is the ideal. Role. Um, but uh, maybe we can be more strategic about how we deal with the demons this time. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe I shouldn't roll the dice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's all your fault. <laughs> <laughs> Minotaurium asks Alex on a scale of one to IKEA, how are, like Minnesota to Sweden? Um, I mean, I've only kind of seen. Uh, like uh, Scott's Street, yeah. so I'd, so I'd, 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 uh, I don't really know. It smells different, uh, and it's hazy. This is hazy. Hazy. All right, we got a locked crate right here. There's a little key actually that I was actually was not paying attention to very well. Uh, that makes the room set up very easy. Not even 45 minutes of playing and you finished the round already. Sounds awesome. Yeah. I think it does. It does like as a. Direct opposite of having your 60 miniatures on your big war game. Yeah. It's a fun thing. So we have two locked crates. We have a console right here. And we have a barrel. And it's, it, it, compared to the last room, it's much more open. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Um, all right. Cool. So what are the special rules here? I'm just going to smell this. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Take us away from here. <laughs> um, I have one discover barrel, so we have multiple discover barrels, a uh, locked crate, and a console. A console is the main ship controls, interact to engage the evacuation protocols, and escape the game into the escape stage. So we can't do that yet because... We don't have power. We don't have power. Yeah. So we're just going to be fighting demons. Yeah. Fighting demons and getting out as fast as humanly possible. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I don't even think we need to fight them. We can just we, we run just to the next run room. To the next room. Yeah, yeah. We wanna, yeah. So let's see who we're dealing with this time. I think I just lost my rules. Oh, no, I didn't. All right, demon spawn. Roll a d6. Four. Got a four. Demons! Of course there's demons. demons. Otherwise, it would just be a ship. Yeah, that's true. Not a very exciting game. That was that was the game they made before this. Yeah, yeah. It's called well, Ship. The first game was just called Ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. you just wander around a bunch of empty rooms. Play some KDM when the jet lag is gone. Do you like, do you know Kingdom Death Monster? Do you play that game? No. No? Okay. No. I played I played KDM I think once. It's, ca it's kind of like any travel. Like there used to be just flights. Yeah. Which were kind of expensive, and yeah. then, and, then, and then you got cheap flights. Yeah. And, and you got you know, it's you, not it's not as nice. Demons show up. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. This is the Spirit Airlines <laughs> that you're saying. Um, okay, so we just keep rolling the same demon spawn, but we are gonna spawn <laughs> two blade demons uh, in Prowl. So spawn within four wow. spaces, out of line of sight if possible, including wall spaces. So we're doing four spaces away, out of line of sight, if possible. One, two, three. That seems to be out of line of sight. Yeah. And then maybe like right here. That's out of line of sight. 
One, two, three. Yeah, that would be four. Yeah. I kind of feel like I just want to run to the next room. <laughs> try, and, try and get into there. I agree. But we have to first roll our wits phase. So we're at a pulse rate of three. That's where we start. Uh, roll those dice. And we're looking for four, fives, and sixes, not one, twos, and threes. Okay. One, twos, and fives. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we got two demon actions. Yes. And we got one one, one act one uh player action. Okay, so I believe a one is definitely an attack, but they are kind of far away and they have only melee weapons, so they're not gonna be able to attack if they can't get close to mm. us. And then one will move the one closest probably. Yeah, let's see let's see what the other action is. And these were prowling? Could, yeah, they're prowling. prowling. So, so they're so like out different? of line of sight. Yeah, okay. The but prowling do, the prowling just means that they spawn uh, like out of oh, line of okay, sight and further away. Is it the same kind of demon? Same kind, yeah. Okay. So they have they had a three move, was that it? Um they have a move of three, yes. So results of one are attack, results of two, which you rolled, um, is a move. Alright. So the closest demon's gonna move. So uh, if I did my math right, they should be more than uh, three spaces away. One, two. Okay, he was two spaces away. Great. And now he's gonna hit me. All right. Okay. Hit me, demon. Hit me. I got a four, so I evaded. You fuck, demon. All right. <laughs> and that was it. So now, uh, now we get to do one of our player actions. So we just fucking run. Not, for the yeah, door. run for it. Um, I believe. Is it? Is it like? Is it just if if we run past and like strike at us? Or oh yeah, you can, you can do that. You can do run and gun. Run and gun. Oh, it's called style on him. I don't know. Or, uh, you know, it's called running gun, literally. Um, here's what I suggest. When we just choose the standard demon, or sorry, blast, which does two damage, which would kill one of these guys outright, the mirror action is a demon it's, attack. Okay. So, and, like, he can't, can't do, do anything, anything, right? So let's just blast You're this guy, right? I know. I look at me, my, my brain. <laughs> okay, so I think we just yeah. blast this yes. fool. Yeah. Now we do demon mirror. Yeah, nothing Can't happened. do anything. He's nothing too far happened. away. Yeah. All right, chat, I'm figuring it out. We're figuring it out. Yeah. All right, uh, so we go to the mirror phase. He can't do anything. End of the next wits phase. All right, I'll roll this time. Yes, please. We got three pulse rate. Let's see what we get. I did Oh, God. Oh, God. This game. All that right. team fucking sucks. <laughs> this is fucking brutal. All right, so twos are moves, threes are evasion, and then they downgrade if they uh, can't be used. Yeah. So we'll Two. start with um, a move. Uh, right, they do moves first. Oh, they do, they do evasion first. Um, all right, so that's the three. So he has an evasion token on him. They can have up to a max of three. Um, and then we'll do a move. Um, one, two, three. Yeah. And then that last move action is uh, downgraded, downgraded to a an attack. Yeah. All right, why don't you roll a dodge roll for us? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I think, we'll, I think I'll just roll the dice. I think, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I think I'm kidding. Kidding. Yeah. All right, so we take damage, which actually is the first point of damage you've taken so far. It's like, is Alex jet lag? Yeah, yeah everything's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, the bet froze. It didn't work. Sorry, guys. Oh, okay. Thank you, Malev. Oh. I, I'm wrong. So demons can only have one evasion. Survivors can store up to three. Okay. All right, so now we took one damage. We're at a pulse rate of uh, four. We have no actions to make. And the plus side is now that there are no demon mirror actions to make. Because we can do it. So that's good. Yeah. Um, so I rolled the last so, pulse rate. So, so far, we've actually not died. Yeah. yeah. We're, doing, we're doing pretty okay. Nice. All right. I mean, you know, not good, but uh, yeah, what can you do? <laughs> I think we just, oh yeah, if we end this guy, that means that more demons spawn. Have you ever played anyone that goes chain, like changes out the dice? Oh, I have. Yeah. I, I have had opponents that have day, uh, uh, jails for their dice. And they'll like they'll, I'm not, they'll I'm not using them. They'll time them out. Yeah, uh, I've had people who have like like people bless their dice and shit, or have like yeah. a special vessel that like yeah. has properties that they put the dice in. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like a bag of bones, cause something like that. Yeah, <laughs> consult the bones. <laughs> um, I'll tell you what, the bet's going the other way this time, guys. You guys so are, we're gonna survive. You guys, ninety percent of people think that you're dying. You guys, you guys are fools. Right. Dark Tide Mini says, you need to make a kill your friend's dice tray. That'd be fucking sick. Uh, I would love to do that. Uh, I'm going to play this game with a John Carpenter soundtrack so hard. Yeah, that, that'd be amazing. We've got uh, kind of that vibe going. Is that what it is? Second rate John Carpenter vibes. Yeah. I just, I just, I thought D&D &D just had a dice jail. No, that's definitely a, a weird thing people do. Um, okay, so 
Ones are attacks. Threes are movement, I believe. Um, no, they're evasion. Okay, this guy's got an evasion token on him now, and he's gonna hit us two times. Yeah. All right, I'll, I'll see if we can if we can get some evasion evade, going evade, here. Evade it. Evade All right. It. Evade it. Let's see. What did one, I roll? A six. A six. Okay, so we have one six so far for that a number was of the on evade roll. That was an evade roll. Yeah. yeah. We take we do take a point of damage, so we're at a health of five. Uh, all right, cool. And so we had one player action at our disposal because I rolled three demon actions and one player action. Yes. And I think I think we run and gun. I think we try to run for it. Yeah. I think we try to disengage a little bit because the thing is, if you kill the demon, we just it just spawns more, this spawns right? More, this spawns more. Yeah. yeah. So let's do a run and gun, which is uh, move two spaces and deal one point of damage. That, we'll the do demon nothing. Will evade. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and then when we do our running gun, the demon will also move to follow us. So why don't you move so us two spaces we, toward should, the other yeah, door? Should we go? Should we just? Should we go try and? Doesn't really matter. Like we could. Um, I think honestly, and just the faster we get faster. to the the door, the better. Yeah. Which is just. Right towards the door. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. That works perfect. Okay, the demon will also move yeah. and uh, and follow us. All right, new wits phase. We have, I have to remember we have one number of we have, a, we have a number six. Yes. All right, let's see. Let's just see tons of fours and fives and sixes. But are you planning on the double turn? <laughs> <laughs> there is kind of a double turn thing in this game. Another. <laughs> another <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. We got one player we got, action. We got. This guy, you were saying it was weird to get other dice. Do you want? You want me to go grab some other dice? No, I refuse. So, 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 so maybe, yeah, I was gonna say maybe that jail idea wasn't. There's a. Can we, just, <laughs> can we hide them? Okay. Okay. Uh, that was three attacks and one evasion token. So he has one evasion token on him. And he's gonna hit us three times. Yes. Which we may die right now. Or, or we evade it three times and get another two six. Okay, that would be sick. And, and, Things happen. Do you want to roll this? Yes, I'm okay. going to roll this. Three evasion dice. We have two hit points left. If there's more than uh, two, sorry, more than one, one, two, three, game over. Hey! Wait. Six. We've got one we did six. It. So, okay, so yeah. we're at a pulse rate of six right now. Yes. We have one hit point left, yes. and we have, we have one more banked six. Yes. So we, need, we have two out of three. Yes. All right, fantastic. Kind of. Okay, so that was the demon actions. We now have uh, one player action to do. Which do we is, just do which is, which run, is, run and gun again? Yeah, yeah. And is it only two? We don't have a... There is no other... There, like, there is a blitz. We can move three spaces. Because does that mean we're out? Is that out? Or is it? do we actually have to go out? We have to, we have to interact with the door to get out. And we only have one action right now. So we could do that. If you go one, two, three, we're there. Yeah. But the problem is, is the demon... is going to do exactly the same. He's going to do the same thing. Because he has a move of three then, as well. And then, yeah. But then not do anything. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, let's try that. Let's try that. <laughs> Your stuff is too long. It upsets it the long. balance. You can't. You can't fit through the door. Yeah, we need one more six. Yeah, if we get a six, then we get to do three player actions without any mirrored actions. We just get to we just get to punk on these demons. Oh. All right, so that was the player thing. The demon moved toward us yes. in his mirror phase, yeah. and now we have six wits dice to roll here. That's bad. It could, be, it could be really good, though. Sure. Be really good! There's all the sixes. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> okay, well, it's an even split. Yeah. We got a one, a two, and a two. I, I'm pretty sure a two is just a move, right? It's kind of hard to remember what they are. My lab says gulp. Yeah, this is <laughs> like... Uh, Okay, two twos are moves, and when they're when they're and not, when they downgrade, it's yeah. yeah. So three, we need to. Uh, okay. This is three attacks. Three attacks. Oh, it was close. It was close. It was very close. It was close. We yeah. took one last point of damage. Yeah, by the we, door, we died. We died. Well, Lev, is there is there a difficulty slider that I could put this on, like make it easier on me? No, I'm just kidding. Okay, we died. Yeah. We did not make it, but I think we employed a different strategy this time. We you, we did, and it was interesting. We actually we actually <laughs> managed to move more than two spaces before yeah. we died. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, like four times as much progress. Yeah. <laughs> We're getting it. Okay, chat, it's working. All right, again. All right, what room? Yeah. Did we get this time? Number one. A number one. What's that? Number one. Number one is a corridor, um, a connecting area filled with debris and random supplies strewn about with the invasion occurred, when the invasion occurred. 
Oh, a little bit of story about the, mm -hmm. the demon ship itself. All right, I, I'll roll for A side or B side. So one, two, three is A. Four. All right, we're doing B side. All right, let me set it up real quick. Cool. The next bet should be, will they make it out of the first room? <laughs> Effectively, that's what it is. I consider an encounter if you can survive a room. And then we start a bet again for the next room. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, we're trying. I mean, like, the thing is, I... I want to interact with the crates and stuff, but I yeah, feel like that's... it's a waste of time. I just want to like get, I just want to or get out. Survive and, and you just want to go find more demons. Yeah. Because yeah. as soon as you go in the next room, more demons show up. Yeah. See, the crates might have like health pots in them that actually reduce our True. pulse rate, which is True. good. True. Um, so that that wouldn't be too bad. That, that wouldn't be too bad. Down there. I got a pull right here. Now that I understand how this this graphic is laid out, it's very easy. And right, this is like you can you can get this, which is in the box, but you can also just make it yourself, kind of. Yes. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So a lot of people when they criticize um, Demon Ship, they're like, the game is fairly expensive because you have to buy the terrain and the models and rules, and together that is a total of a hundred dollars. Okay. But really, you don't have to do that. You can totally just create a six-inch board by yourself yep. on a grid and make these pieces of terrain. Or you can also get their STLs and print them out, which yep. is significantly cheaper. Yep. Um, yeah, I think this is a great little. This is great. Box it is is very like, cool. I could actually. I don't, I don't know if you saw Alex. The the box actually is its own carrying case. Yeah, yeah. Flip yeah. it over. Yeah. yeah, it's awesome. It is cool. You fit all the terrain inside it. It's a very very slick little design. Yeah. I'm a I'm a uh, kind of a sucker for being able to travel with things. Yeah. Like bring some paints to wherever and paint them. All right, guys. A game or yeah. This yeah. bet is finally the even one. It's 44 to four, uh, 56. Ab about what? If we actually if you'll survive manage one to room. get through one room <laughs> the entire evening. <laughs> just just one room. <laughs> all okay. right, chat. I'm going to have Alex do all the rolling for this first room. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. I did so great. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is a corridor. There are no things to interact with in this particular room. I'm sorry, there are. Uh, they're like optional things, right? The the locked crates and whatnot. Um, that's a locked crate. So that's inside the there, there are three okay. different kinds of oh, items. This one, but open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, three different kinds of items we could possibly get. Cool. Um, is that something that could carry on to another room or not? We don't know. Um, yes, it is. Yes, it is. So one could find health thing and then bring it. Exactly. Because that's pretty cool. Um, my, my wife is calling toxicology uh, because of oh, what okay. our dog consumed. Oh, so, yeah. please, boy, don't die. Uh, it was, I think it was a natural, like, like hand lotion that she ate, so I think she'll be okay. That should be okay. Um, is the BFG 9000 in there? I have, dude, I, we fucking need the BFG. Uh, that stands for big fucking gun. Um, <laughs> it's a Doom thing. Um, yeah, we could definitely use a BFG. I did play Doom, but I don't remember the names. Did you, uh, which Doom did you play? Like with the older ones, the, or then? Yeah, would be the, like the first one. Though. Okay, okay, yeah. I'm on the opposite side of that. Yeah. I've I've played the most recent ones, Doom 2016 and Doom oh, Eternal. Okay. Those okay. ones. No, I'm I'm the ones where everything is just like an eight bit, it's just like, squares. Yeah, just about. Squares, yeah. yeah. Like that demon could it could be a demon. Yeah. Or it's just squares. Yeah. Uh, Dan said, "Is it small enough that Alice could Alice could play on the? You could actually you you could break this out on the tray oh, in yeah. front of you and play it yeah. like totally yeah, reasonably." Totally. Yeah. Um, because it's, right. it's like a nine-hour. Keep hour. talking about on the plane. Damn, the demons got me again. <laughs> the demons. Yeah, and it's like a nine-hour flight, so maybe I get through one room. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if we spawn something other than blade demons. All right, let me go to the spawn section. All right, roll d6. Someone says head lotion is mostly water. Yes. We got a four again. I'm kind of getting sick of rolling fours. I want to see something different, so I'm gonna elect to do it again. And I can do that because it's a sole player game. You got a three. Cool. We got hail of fire and shrieks. Ooh. Um, we're gonna prowl. This is actually even worse. <laughs> we're going to prowl. So we're gonna spawn two blade demons in the prowl configuration. So four Swap. spaces away, yeah. out of line of sight if possible. Does it have to be four away? It says spawn yeah. within four spaces. Within four. Okay. Out of line, out of, of, line sight of sight if possible. Okay. So within. There we go. Pow pow. That right. actually is legitimately. Yeah. Those are both out of line of sight. Yeah. Because you can't draw a line from the corner of their base to the corner of our base without getting interrupted by a piece of terrain. And then also, attack. 
spawn a gun demon. Aww. Great. Yeah. Um, and when you attack with that, you spawn in the furthest space within line of sight. So would that be like right here maybe? Yeah. Okay, so this guy, we'll, we'll use Dan Survivor as Good the... Actually. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's over there. All right. So we spawn three demons. We got a pulse rate of three. Do we just do we just run for the door this time? Because this room is... Yeah. This room is not what we need. This is not. You know? Yeah. And this is... We, we can't kill two demons, let alone three. No. All right. Let's see what we got. I mean, we need to get through one. I would love it if... If ever, when we ran, when we did this wits phase, if we just had more survivor actions than demon actions, like that'd be very nice. You know, uh, there's an easy way to make that happen, Scott. How, how, what is that? Roll better. Yeah, okay. Roll better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Get those better dice somewhere. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Let me run out to my car and get the good ones. Someone's asking max number of demons at one time. Uh, uh, so so, so far, our experience is max is three. It, Actually, yeah. we, can, we can look. There's a little, it's a little chart. There's a good, good question. Just how many demons can I, I get in a gun demon, a gun demon, another phrase you shouldn't say out loud on the plane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think the max is three. I think we rolled the worst oh, okay. uh, room or the worst demon spawn you can get. Yeah. All right. There may um, be ways to spawn more demons while the demons are there, potentially, I think. Uh, oh, are there? I did not know that. I know you can spawn more obviously when they die. I'm going to open a crate mm. and find a demon. <laughs> demon crate! <laughs> Or crate demon. <laughs> There's another question. Do the demons follow you into another room? I hope not. I don't and, think they and, do. Yeah, yeah that, there, there was nothing about that in the yeah, book. No, no. Okay, so a one and a three. What does what our closest demon do? Moving. I know one is an What's attack. I think three is evasion. Yes. Lev says the demons don't follow you into other rooms. They lack, uh, lack object permanence. <laughs> <laughs> also, Colt Spinks 123 just subscribed with Prime. 11 months. Thank you. Thank you, Colt Spinks. Appreciate Colt Spinks. Appreciate it. Colt Spinks? Colt Spinks. Yeah. Um, okay. So, a one and a three is actually uh, an evade okay. and an attack. Um, and so, we'll do the so evade we... first on that guy. And no one. No, nothing happens in an attack. Nothing happens, right? I'm going to assume, actually, the gun demon is going to shoot us. I'm going to assume that if. If one of the demons can use the action, it oh, will use the action. Yeah. So the closest one will use it, uh, evade, and then the gun demon will shoot us. Yes. So let's see what a gun demon does. You know, obviously he's probably ranged. Gun demon has, oh my god, has three HP. Uh, move a two and a range damage of one. Um, cool. So we roll an evade? We roll an evade. Evade for us. Get a six. No, I got a two. <laughs> All right, pulse rate of four. Yep. Um, and then we have one action. Is that action just spent on just like hauling ass toward that door? Yeah. All right, let's do it. All I right, so, so we'll, we'll blitz then. We'll go one, two, three. Yeah. Okay. And we just need to do that. You know, this one, game one is kind of based on Alien, the movie franchise, yeah. right? And I don't think in that movie they're killing every single alien they interact with, right? No, it's the other way around. Exactly, exactly. Like, like, like it's been for us. Right, yeah. And so maybe I just have my, my war gamer hat on too much right now yeah. where I have to kill everything in the room. Yeah. But really it's more about evading. Yeah. Okay, so I moved. I blitzed. That's all I have. The demons <laughs> will, will mirror that action. Because um, in theory there's like three rooms that we need to complete. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I'm going to move that one closer to me. Yeah. Uh, mirror actions don't downgrade, so I don't think they hit me. Malev, is that correct? Uh, a mirror action won't downgrade to an attack if moving, if moving is useless. I'll, I'll just move another demon closer to me. But okay. So we have a pulse rate of four now, and I trust in Alex to roll us multiple fours and fives and sixes. Okay. Of course I will. Okay, half and half. Yeah, yeah. Not bad. Yeah. All right, we got a move and we got an evade. Move and evade. Um, so we'll just say this guy, actually just to make it easy to remember, we'll do the more melee cultist dude. So he, that guy's got an evade on him and he's swinging at us. And uh, let's try oh, to evade. Yeah, no yeah. Nope. Nope. All right, pulse rate of five. Rate of five. Okay, so now we have two actions at our disposal. I say we just... You can actually go to the door and open the door. Exactly. 
Um, Are we going to go through to another room? We, we might. So we're going to run at this door yeah. uh, with one of our actions, and then we're going to interact with it. Now, because there is a demon adjacent to us, the interaction is more challenging. That makes sense. Um, right, of course. A cat works. You could do a cat for your survivor in demon ship. If you were like, it was like a cat in like dog ship hell. And it's like all the dogs are chasing the cat and you have to like go in the vents and shit. Um, okay, let me, we, we haven't interacted <laughs> with a door yet or anything chat. So let me just quickly ref refresh my memory of what interacting is. How do I use a door chat? Um, Please tell me how to use a door. Uh, I'm trapped. Room tests. Oh, right, right, right. That's oh, a good idea. Right. Okay. I want to run this game as a narrative, and if anyone is lucky enough to survive, they find themselves pulled into Space Station Zero. <laughs> Yay! Damn, <bro>. Unlucky. <laughs> Forever stuck, yeah. Interact is just an action. If a demon is next to you, it turns to a four-up roll. And okay. you can you can exert to pass that test as well, which is just increasing your pulse by two. Um, That's a lot. Yeah. All right. Yeah, but what do you mean? So we can we can if we increase our pulse by two, we can just exit the room. Yeah, so whenever whenever you roll a test in this game, yeah. you can exert, which is just uh, take damage essentially to auto pass the test. Do we have that much damage left? We do. We've only taken one point of damage. Then we can right? get out of the room. I know, and I think that's probably Without value. Having to roll the dice and, and get killed by three demons. Right. So let's roll a die first of all to see. So we're, we're doing an interact to uh, interact with the door. All right, we're taking damage. <laughs> so we go for a four to a six. <laughs> but we're out of the room. We're okay, out we're room. out. We're out of the room. Chat, we did it. All right. <laughs> we made it out of a room. That means that y you survived an encounter. Hang on. Yeah, baby. Choose outcome. Third time is the charm. We did it. We made we it, it out of the starting room. <laughs> Nothing happened. We didn't We didn't turn on the power, but we got out of Made it out of one room. <laughs> Mavericks Paints asks, what game is this? This game is Demon Ship. It is a solo, pre solo play micro war game. Mm, hey, Mavericks Paints. Yeah. yeah. Is that one of your patrons? No. Oh, okay. Just, uh, just, uh, just a hi. I mean, I mean, Kitten made her points back. Nice. Uh, all right. So... All right, well, once you roll a d6 for us and okay. see what our next room is. It's a one. Wasn't this a one? That is a one. Should we re-roll the dice? I think what happens when you roll the exact same room you're yeah. in, you get to pick the next room you go into. Okay, number four. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> number four, engine room, please. Fisticuff um, link, subscribe with Prime. Fisticuffs. I got the next uh, bet going here. Will they survive another room? Your no. options are, we're on a roll, or no. Yeah, no. Probably not. <laughs> was there was there an A, B on a four, so we can do another four? Uh, there is an A, yeah, B. Cool. I'm doing the B one now, which I believe is a little bit different than the last one. Nice one. Malev says, when you're in the corridor, it connects to the room you need, so you found the engine room. Oh, is that written somewhere? Is that written in on the corridor? And I guess number four was the engine, right? Yes. Yeah. That's what we want. Well, we got out the room. We took some damage. Um, but that's okay. All right. We have a console right there. So that's pretty cool. So the the, the one necessary isn't necessarily totally bad because then you know at least if you if you get through the corridor, you know you'll get to the room you need. That is true. That Regar is true. Regardless of what room you need. If you roll corridor, oh, I thought if uh, Fisticuff Link, thanks for the prompt. I appreciate it. Um, I thought it was if you roll the same room. Oh, that you you're roll, already in, doesn't that oh, yeah. mean you get to pick yeah, the room? Yeah, he says, if you roll corridor while in the corridor, which we did. So we were in the corridor, we rolled the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually what, yeah. But uh, doesn't that apply to any room you're in? Like if you're in the, uh, say you're in the cryo and you roll the cryo, don't you get to pick what room you go into? I thought that was, thought that was the rule, but I could be wrong. All right, we're in the engine room though. Um, we need a three by uh, right there. And then L is what? Is it a lever? Oh, it's a locked crate. Locked crate right there. Um, barrel. All right. Oh, there's like an L. Right there. And then a barrel. I love that I can just oh throw God. it at yeah. there and it just snaps right on there. That is so cool. What is, what, what's, what's this? 
fella. That's a Necromunda. That's a Necromunda thing. House Cador model. Okay. Um, he's pretty cool. I like him. Yeah. I like the candles on. I know it's on, on the head. I like the mixture that GW does of like gothic, like yeah. dark imagery and yeah. sci-fi. It's fun. Yeah. It's definitely unique to their range. Or like a, a not unique to their range, but like a, a thing they love to do. Yeah, yeah. The style's good. Okay. I'm gonna say that we spawn right here, <laughs> which is close to the, uh, the lever. Oh yeah, because you can choose door. That's, I think that's you smart. can. Yeah, that's what you said. Um, so that's smart. Okay, let's spawn some demons. Yeah. Why don't you do the roll for us? Do the digital terrain files have spots for magnets? I don't know. My love probably knows. Oh yeah. I mean, I. I, I am throwing your terrain around. Five dice. One die for the demon spawn. Yeah, that's right. We got a three. three. Yeah. All right, that is a hail of fire and shrieks. So it is the same as the last time. Yep. So we prowl two blade demons and we attack spawn a gun demon. And so this is this is our gun demon. And the the other ones were uh, out of line of sight. With out of line of sight. So they should be here, right? Four spaces. Yeah, up up to four spaces and out of line of sight. Is it is it four spaces uh, movement? Or is it four spaces? It includes uh, through terrain. Through yeah, terrain. so it, count, it so, counts so through terrain. So it's kind of like that. Yeah. And I then suppose. the gun demon would be furthest line of... Furthest away, what, but... What do you think of that? Yeah, that, yeah. Seem, that seems right, honestly. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, we have one hit point remaining. Oh, there's like a little template for all the terrain and the rules as well, if you wanted to like... Oh, nice. Uh, maybe like print them out yeah. um, and just or use them as like a blueprint. Cool. All right. Cool. So I think we have. Malev wrote something. If you're in the engine room and you roll the engine room, you find the corridor. But you're, if, the, if you're in the corridor and roll corridor, you find the objective room. Okay. okay. I've also not read that part of the rules yet. Um, and I think people are saying that the STL files have like holds for magnets. Oh, awesome. I don't know. People are saying they do. Okay. Yes. Okay. Or it's just a chant. They do. They <laughs> do. <laughs> They're willing it into existence. <laughs> um, Rufus says, I want to do a themed version of this where you're on an old, late 1800s ocean liner and your character has a lantern. Oh, what, what are the monsters, though? What are the monsters you're fighting? Um, Shadows. So do I get a Malev floating around answering questions whenever I play my copy? No, you have to run a YouTube channel and then get 300,000 subscribers, and then he shows up. Yeah, that, and, that, and, and, and have a guy from Sweden. Yeah, 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 yeah. And a guy that is a manifestation of a chair running the stream. True. Uh, then you're good. Fishmen monsters. Oh, that's a great idea. Okay, um, <clears throat> so let's do the wits phase. So we have to roll six dice because we have we have six. That's our pulse rate right now. Oh, it doesn't go down. No. Oh dear. I mean, I assume it, right? Like when I get into a new room, it doesn't. My health doesn't decrease. It stays where it is. I think we got a breather when we like went through the door, and it's like <gasps> that'd be nice if you like gain a health or two or something like yeah. that. I don't think that happens. Okay, so we'll do six. That was a great roll. Thank you. So far, that's like the best roll we've Thank had you. for our survivor. Yes. All right, we got a one and a three. We can actually go pull the lever. You might be able to. And run back. <laughs> I think if you, I don't know if this is right, but I think if you start at one door, you have to go to the other door to actually exit the that room. That sounds... Naturally, uh, right? Yeah. Okay, so... Or you end up back in the corridor. <laughs> Maybe not a bad thing. <laughs> um, okay, so a one and a three. Um, that is an attack and also an evade, um, I believe. Yeah, it sounds like a familiar combination. One and a three. I think I yeah, think two is move, and, right? Yeah, attack and evade. All right, so the gun demon, uh, we'll just Pal. assume he's going to evade, but he's also going to he's also going to shoot us. Yeah. So we need to roll a dice. We do need to roll um, an ev uh, a dodge. Yes. Yeah, and this is when we die, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It is. It is. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. Hey, we made progress, okay? Yeah, we, we got to we a second got, room. We got to a second room. We got to a second room. It was a good roll. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good roll. We never got to use these actions, but uh, but yeah. Malev, 
I, how often ha have you won this game? Out of curiosity. You might be getting extremely unlucky. Um, although, I don't really care. It's not a huge deal that we're not like winning. Yeah, no. All right. I like the idea that, you know, it, it could be uh, wh whoever wants to put the effort in can actually just do their own little theme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That That is very Malev cool. Malev says, I've won it like twice. <laughs> evasion, evasion actions are crucial. Uh, okay, okay. That we have not been doing that. Let's try to do some more evade actions. Okay. Um, I, yeah, I think I think it's more about kind of e like ev evading, evading uh, getting out of line of fire. Yes. Eggs. Five rules of dodgeball. Yeah. Dodge, duck, dip, dive, dive and dodge. dodge. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Style on them is the secret sauce. Okay, that's one of the that's one of the survivor actions. I'll keep that in mind. We'll do that from now on. All right, let's uh, roll, roll the room. Um, I guess because now we're dead. Now we're new. Uh, it's a new. Uh, it's a new. We're a new person. We're a new now. hero now. Yeah. Maybe we need it. Maybe feels, we. Maybe feels, we need a uh, refreshing. We need to become more one with the demon ship and start naming our character. What's our yeah. character name? Yeah, this is Kurt. This is Kurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah not a bad yeah. name. Okay, I like that. Kurt right. Lan Lantern Bear. The Lantern Bear. Okay, and, and Kurt is like the final surviving member of the ship. He's from the engineering department, yeah. which means he has the skills to actually power the ship back on. Exactly. Okay. And, and access to candles. Yes. <laughs> Most importantly. <laughs> it's like, are the powers out? Where are the candles, Kurt? So he goes in the fucking cabinet to find the, the candles. <laughs> uh, Gogotha says, by the way, Alex, love your channel. The production quality is outstanding. I will echo that. Uh, your cinematography is absolutely amazing. And I'm sure you know that. I appreciate it. All right, we got a six for the room, which is a new one for us. It's the yeah. escape pod bay. Doesn't sound very useful at the moment, but uh, yeah, not really. We'll uh, we'll have to go through because it we way. need power. We do need power. power. All right, got a platform over there. We need a three and a two. Rufus Kid says single player games are typically really challenging. Otherwise, what's the point? Kinda, yeah. right? Yeah. So, that... it's, so it's actually like, <clears throat> you, you, yeah, you just keep on playing, and then, you know, on the third night, you actually win the <laughs> game, and it's and that's an awesome feeling. Which is that's a really good point. Yeah, I've never played um, a, a single player game ever. No, um, I have, I've never. Yeah. So I don't. I didn't know what to expect. All right, so the escape pod bay is a room that contains escape pods and equipment needed in an emergency. Uh, most of it is scattered or broken. Okay. Um, so now we're supposed to be a, yeah. Oh, did I miss this thing? I missed a thing. I missed a thing. <laughs> right there. Okay, Malev, do you always spawn in the E1 sec uh, door and are always going toward the E2 door? That does that does make sense to me, but uh, I think I remember reading that you could just pick either one. Um, but either way, the special rules in here is the console is the escape pod controls, interact during the escape stage, doesn't matter. I'm gonna read it. Um, so we can't do it yet. All right, so all we care about is getting to that next door. All right, spawn some demons for us, Alex. What do we got? Of course. Always a favorite number, three? Don't do three. three. <laughs> <laughs> it's uncanny how terrible your rolls are. <laughs> uh, this, this, like, don't this, do three. This might, Instantly three. This might have something to do why I, why, why I don't really like playing games. Yeah, yeah, times. yeah. Like, this is I've a... seen my armies die too many times. <laughs> Okay, so we have two blade demons that are going to spawn probably out of line there, of sight. And then we're going to have a gun demon probably there. Right? Yeah, that, seem, that yeah. seems about right. Gun demon. All right, let's do a wits phase. Let's do, let's do our pulse. Look at that! We got three fours and one, sorry, oh, two wow. fours and one five. So that's all player interactions. Man, all I care um, about if is... If we just move, then they just move, right? You're right. Well, they, uh, uh, yes. They or they, if, they can't move, they attack. I don't think is they that? do that with the mirror actions. They only do yeah, that with with their, uh, with their dice yeah. rolls. Yeah. So if we just, if we, uh, let's we say, the door. yeah, maybe we, three, um, three, three. what is that? Like that? One, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Let's, for the last one, let's do the thing that gives us an evasion token. Because it's, it's uh, move two spaces and gain a token, and that's all we needed to get to the door. So we'll do that. It's all about the evasion. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Um, then the the closest demon to us mirrors. <laughs> the kitten says, "Put Alex in dice jail." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
that would not be uh, very comfortable. So we have an evade thing now. We do have an evade thing now. That's pretty smart. We haven't had one before. We haven't. This is new. So what we did was we did two blitzes, and the last one we did was a style on him. Move, move two spaces and gain an evasion token. So now the demons will mirror that action. So the gun demon's the closest. He goes one, two. I think he has a move of two. Yeah. One, two, and then he gains an evasion token because we did style on him. Yeah, he yeah. gets to evade. He starts on us. Okay. N new wits phase. We're still at max this house. Was, this was... It's nice when they don't have to, when they don't do anything, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, they not bad again. Okay, again. all right. So we got a four and a six and a one. Okay, yeah. now the one is a demon attack. Yeah, so it's a it's a shot, I guess. From it is a shot. Demon. Now the the sad thing about this is that I believe there's a special rule for the gun demon specifically. Oh dear. If the gun demon is adjacent to the survivor, two damage is dealt during an attack action. So, Malev, if you're here... Yeah, we've got something about Malev here with our movement. You only elect to do a blitz to move through demons. Otherwise, it's just a move. Oh, to, but I can still move three spaces, though, right? Sorry I didn't start wow. that right away, guys. I uh, had to fix the camera. Uh, but now we know that. Move or... Oh, sorry. It says move or blitz. Okay, great. Uh, so we're just moving. Yeah. Okay, um, so Malev, if I'm being dealt, you know what? I think it's just yeah, it's just one. So we're gonna try to we're gonna try to dodge this attack. Um, so on a four up, we dodge it. If not, we're going to evade one point of damage, but, but take one point. Oh, because well. it's two point damage. It's two points, yeah, because he's right next yeah, to us. Yeah, he's like yeah, blasting yeah. us. Yeah. Kapow. No. All right, here we go. Let's see if we evade though, or if we dodge. We don't. We don't. So we we uh, we do take one point of damage, and we lose our evasion token. Yep. Okay. But we have we two have things, two actions to right? Through that door. So why don't we blast this fool with one of those actions, um, which kills him, I believe. Oh no, he has a fucking evade token, doesn't he? Yes. Because that was the last yes. thing he did. Shoot. Yes. Okay. Can then, we do, can't we just leave the room? Yeah, we can. Yeah. I was thinking maybe we could kill the guy and then leave the room for free. If there are no uh, demons next to us, we don't have to roll at all. We just okay. we just leave immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he gained an evade token. It's really interesting because. You have to think about how your actions are going to help the demons out and then kind of like shape yeah, your movement that. so that like you have a better scenario for yourself. Yeah, um, yeah and the, man, the gun demon has three hit points, so yeah. that's even harder to kill. Okay, so uh, with our, we have two actions. Um, so we could, we two actions, could we hit it and hit it and it dies? Um, no. Yes, yes, we could. Um, these might not be able to get there before we get out. That's a good idea. Let's do that. So we have two actions, and what Alex is suggesting is we're going to use both of those on blast. Yeah. The first blast does one point of damage because he has an evaded token. The second one does two, which kills the gun demon. Nice. Yes. And then when we go to the demon mirror phase, these are both blade demons. They're going to attack. They can't attack. They're yeah. nowhere near us. Yeah. And we just go into the next wits phase. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Roll four dice because we took one point damage. Not bad, half and half, okay. Mm. The best part is these are both not attack options. It's, sure. it's an evade, so he gains an evade, and he's gonna move three spaces. Yes. One, two, three, and then we're he's not next to us? We're Let's we're just get out. out the door. What? We did it! We, we, have, we took one point of damage, one and we're, damage. we're out of the oh, next yeah. room! Yeah. Wow. Okay, cool. Chat, we're doing it! Uh... Pretty cool to see you two collab, two best produced channels in the hobby. Aww. Yes, thank you so much. And actually, because of that, we are we are making a video. Uh, we are making a video yeah. while we're here, and yep. uh, we are going to kind of lean into our ability to produce something nicer, and also our love of filmmaking, and make a little fun skit. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. I've made a skit in a while. Um, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so we made it through that room with one point damage. Next room. Let's spawn we, the next we really room. We need to find that. Um, we need the engine room. We need the engine room. Yeah. Okay, we've got a five. Now, we can also take damage. We can exert oh, okay. to make that roll the room we want. <clears throat> so we can go from four. So, so we can choose the room we'll die in. Yeah. <laughs> Effectively, yes. Uh, let's just go to this room. Because <laughs> we go from four to six, and then we have one HP left. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so five is a nav bridge. I think we're doing B right now, right? Yeah, we're doing B. Yeah, we're doing B. All right. 
So this entire wall is actually covered in terrain, or this whole side. Yeah, I want to see that cool pipe. Oh, cool. All right, then we got a pole. And then we got a Did barrel. someone paint this a little bit? It or comes pre-painted. It comes pre-painted. Pre that is, I, I honestly love that so much. Yeah. Just increases the accessibility of the game. And you could just kind of like Put get right into the action. Play, yeah. yeah. It's super nice. All right, so the door is just right across. There is a little thing in the middle, though. Right. Next room rolls dice, the demon pit. <laughs> <laughs> we got a console, we got a locked box, and we got another. Locked box, right? So, do you think you'd play a solo game solo? Like sit sitting in the evening, play a solo game? You know, Maybe? I've bought a lot of board games that uh, have solo variants, yeah. and I have never, um, I've never played the solo variants. I've always opted to play um, the well, ones with people. Yeah. Um, what on earth is going on? Okay. Okay. Well, you're breaking my shit. <laughs> um, Say, oh no! <laughs> oh God! Um, but this feels different. This like, feels different, yeah. yeah. But also, even playing solo, but with someone, because I mean, this is kind of fun. Yeah, yeah. We're kind of both just rolling dice, yeah. and it's like yeah. making choices, and it, it, it's totally chill. Yeah. Um, I think I don't know if I'd play alone. I think I'd have to try it out. Maybe like when like Amber is like watching like Love Island or something, I can like play Demon Ship and yeah. just like try it out. Try it out. Yeah. I don't know. Um, but let's spawn some demons. You gonna roll the demon spawn for us? Um, roll. Four, not three. Six. We six. Have we had a six. We haven't had a six yet. Okay. That's the de that's the demon pit. Yeah. So now Lucifer spawns. No. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> this is called Duck. We spawn a frog demon. Oh really? <laughs> We've never had a frog demon. <laughs> uh, in prowl mode, and then we uh, spawn a gun demon in attack mode. So the furthest away, but still in line of sight. So we'll use that guy. Is this the frog demon? We'll call that guy the frog yeah. demon. And, where, where did, and that was in prowl. So prowl. Was, so out of line of sight, line of sight up to four attack. spaces away. Four. So how a frog is special is it has two hit points. It's got a move of four. It has a melee damage of one and a range damage of two. And it has an ability. If the frog demon evades, it gains two evasion tokens. Okay. okay. All right. Did we just put that? that was that a gun demon? That seems right. That's like yeah. furthest away yeah, yeah. in line of sight. Okay, so we have uh, pull what, what, what did this room do? Well, nothing. We just need to get out. So this is, is I think we just need to get out. Yeah. And let me let me refresh. This is a five. This is a nav bridge, a room containing the ship's navigation equipment and controls that allow the crew to monitor and control the ship. Um, this is the this is the ship we need. I'm uh, sorry. This is the room we need in the second phase oh, of okay, the game. After the power. Then we want to engage the emergency or evacuation protocols. Yeah. Okay. So we got a pulse rate of four. Let's see how many demon actions we get. Damon says that the actual frog demon mini is amazing. It's basically a small demon frog with a gun in its mouth. I know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the the mods for this game are like lovely and yeah. campy, and it's, it, I mean, not, they're not all campy, but some of them are, and it's fun. I love stuff like that. All right, we got two demon actions and two player actions. Nice even split. So two threes, I think, are just two evades. Yeah. So. Um, the frog demon will gain two evade tokens, or sorry, yeah, two evade tokens, and then he'll move. Uh, mm. I think the demons can only have one evade token, Malev said. Yeah, the frog one is an exception, though. Oh, is it? If the frog demon evades, it gains two evasion tokens. This is bullshit, man. Yeah, but you're right otherwise. So Malev, the, you lied to me. What the fuck, Malev? Um, this is the only game Curse will fully paint. I mean... You know, it comes fully painted. He did it. Yeah, yeah. Is, that, is that what he's saying? The models don't. Um, I mean, Curtis, Curtis can do anything. That's his mind too. I believe. Uh, okay. So then the frog demon is going to evade. He gains two evade tokens, and he's going to move. He's got to move a four. Jesus. He's going to go one, two, three, four. Oh right in front of us. Yeah. <coughs> so then we have two things we can do. We can 
How much health does this frog demon have? I feel like a frog demon should have one HP. It's, it's not even frog. a frog demon, guys. It's just a regular frog. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, anyone actually know when the STLs will be sent out? Malev might know. <laughs> demon frog is head crab plus face hugger with a shotgun mouth. Okay. I saw Curtis in traffic today on my way to Kane's, and we went full Spider-Man pointing me. What the fuck? Um, <laughs> I'm gonna bet against the I'm gonna bet against the gang on this one. The frog's gonna ruin your face. Uh, my left says the STLs are live now. You should have them in your account. Cool. Nice. Okay, so we got two actions. Not the room we need to be in. Do we just do we just run for it? Do we get? Hit on the way in that case. I don't think so because we're not. We don't have to move through a demon. We're yeah, just moving just past one. Running past one. Let's let's try to can run that way in that case. Yeah. We don't won't get a shot at. Let's do this. Let's go one, two, three. Yeah. Out of and then I want to I want to interact with that the, thing. Oh, see, we, we, we haven't done yeah, it yet, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I believe because there is no person next to us, we just get to roll on a thing and see what we get. Locked crates. Uh, take up one space, and oh, they can be moved through over. I didn't know that. The interact action can be performed while adjacent to a crate to attempt to open it. If successful, roll a d6 on the locked crate chart. Okay, so we actually need to we actually need to roll to see if we to see if we open it. So maybe it's not worth it. Um, but anyways, let's see. Um, I must, it doesn't say uh, what, in the what, locked. What could be inside? A flame frag, a style soda, and an armor plate. And what these do are, flame frag is used to apply a persistent effect, fire to the target space. So you can uh, light a space on fire forever. Yep. Um, style soda used to move two spaces and gain two evasion tokens. So that's a pretty good soda. It is. Armor plate is used to reduce the pulse by two to a minimum of three. The thing is, we have to so open So pretty the, good things. These are all great things. We have to open the thing, and it feels like it's not guaranteed. It feels like it's Sorry. a four up. Four up, that's not. Yeah, I, don't, I don't see it written anywhere, but I believe it's a four up. Um, Malev, is it, is it a four up to open a lock crate, or do I just get to open it because um, there's no demon? No, you're rolling the chart. Let's do it. All right, what do we get, Alex? Roll for us. Get a two. A two is a... Is that the frag? It's a flame frag, nice. Yeah. All right, so we can light a space on fire persistently. Okay, now let's go into the wits phase. So roll these four dice. Oh, oh wait, no, we have to do demon mirror actions. Demon mirrors. So we moved and we interacted. Okay, yes. what do the demons do? Um, let's figure it out. I'm sure, I'm sure they move, right? They move. It'd be funny if they had to move and interact with Yeah, they had to, you know, yeah. You know, like run open over the here and open that yeah, one. Or that one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, move is a demon move, interact is a demon evade. Okay, so I. It's gonna invade. So this is the one. That's, that's the closest, closest one. So it's gonna move just. It's gonna move toward it's us. A frog, sorry. Yeah. Well, what do you say about? Did, could you stand on the crates? It says you can move through and over it. I don't know if you can stand on top stand of it. On top but of it. I kind of like that. Let's 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 roll with it. Yeah. Um, and the frog could jump up. On yeah. The crate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but he already has the max number yeah. of evasions, so we can't gain any more. Yeah. So that was their turn. So now we go into the wit space. Yes. All right. Okay. Or the big, the new wit space. The, the demon is actually a big style sort of fan. Mm. What do we get? What do we get? Two we got two? a one and a three, as usual, and two sixes. Okay. Two player actions and two yes. actions. All right, so a three is a... I don't know why I can't remember this. It was an attack and evade, wasn't it? That sounds right. Yeah. Yes, so the frog has max evasion on him, and so he won't do anything. Um, so he will uh, just hit us. Yeah. And I believe he's doing melee damage this time because he is right next to us. And that does two points of damage. Yep, he has a, me no, just one. He has a melee damage of one. Uh, thank you. Let's <laughs> see if we evade the thingy. Let's, let's see if we dodge. Ho! We do. All right. We have a flame frag. I don't think we need to use it. I think we just need to oh, get. Oh, if you keep it until the next. Yeah, round. I think we just need to okay, get, we out just here, get out right? of here. Yeah, because we got two actions, which means we can get out, right? Yeah, we just move. Yep. One, two, one, two and then we interact with the door, and we're, we're out. out of here, dude. Is this the second room in a row that we survived? Yes. Okay. We're doing it. Oh yeah. But did All you right. do what you needed to do in the room? 
I mean, no, we're not actually doing anything in any of these rooms. No. Um, because they're not the rooms we need. <laughs> but we're not dying, we're which not, is great. We need a, we need a four. Um, I'm going to paint a blade demon as Pepsi Man. <laughs> is this like shoebox Space Hook? Um, I've never, I haven't played Space Hook, but from what I understand about the game, it definitely is similar aesthetically and like yeah. narratively. Yeah. Oh, no, um, I've never played that either. Yeah. Well, I might be lying, actually, but I can't remember it because I was so young. Okay. Yeah. Like oh yeah, like the older original box. Yeah. That 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 box is way ahead of its time. Because I know I know at home somewhere in a box I have like small plastic terminators. Okay, that yeah. I, that I think of from from space Hulk. It might I just be a one. That's a corridor. I believe you're right. That is again not the room we need. No, but it guarantees us the room we need if we get through it, right? If I think no, if, if we roll a one again. Yeah, if we roll a, if we roll a one again, yeah. <laughs> again, we can exert we can exert ourselves to get the right room. True. And then potentially die immediately. <laughs> yeah. Because we'll be at six points of damage. Um, Should we do that anyway? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. All right. Maybe so we, we're gonna maybe we can find a box in that room and get some that's true. armor. And then if we like do more evades than we've been doing, then maybe I think we can make we'll it. survive. We got we got a grenade to throw as well. We do. Yes. Yeah. And I actually don't know how using the items works. I think you can just use it whenever you want. Um, you can carry one of each item. Excuse me. Uh, and must perform, oh, you gotta perform an item action to use it. Okay, so that's, you have to spend one of your survivor actions on using the uh, grenade. Oh, yeah. Okay. I was asked if I've had, had a root beer. I haven't had a root beer now, but I've had a root beer before. Is there something special about root beer? I don't know, probably, like, can you get root beer in Sweden? Can maybe? you? Yeah. You can? Sure. Can you get Sprecher it's, root beer in it's, Sweden? It's, it's, it's not, like, tons of it around. But, okay. You know, if you go to, like, a, like a novelty, yeah. Okay, kind the of the American so store. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Is that a thing? Uh, probably. There is an English store, an okay. English shop. Yeah. yeah. When we were I'm in, sure there's an American store. Yeah. yeah. Or like an American restaurant or something like that. When we were in uh, Nottingham, all the guys from Golden Demon brought us, or sorry, from uh, Heavy Metal, yeah. brought us to an American restaurant, and I was like, we don't, we don't need to see this. We, we eat we, this all the time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it was a nice gesture. Yeah. Uh, we had, we had some, burgers we had here. Burgers. burgers. Have you had a burger before? And yeah, and, and like kind of like chicken tender sandwiches yeah, yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So we exerted to get the you, correct you, you, room. You got the worst of the worst. Yeah. Amer American food made in England. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've definitely had better burgers I'm before. Sorry. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um, we have we have a lot of burger options here. In exactly. It would be better here. Yeah, no, no, I'm gonna throw a hot take out there. I think Minnesota actually has like the best selection of burgers. Oh, I think maybe not the best burger in America, but we have like the perfect confluence oh. of burgers here. Yeah, there are a lot of options, and I mean we we live in this thing called the Burger Belt. Yeah, you know, <laughs> it goes to the center of America, which has nothing else going on, and but so burgers. what they have going on is burgers. burgers. Okay. But everyone in that Burger Belt has like a regional special burger. Oh, okay. And so here you... in Minnesota, it's called the Juicy Lucy. Okay. And the 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 thing about that that's special is the patty is filled inside with cheese. The true original is a hot cheese injection. Yes. Hot cheese injection. And, and if you want to, we can go to the, the original restaurant that created the Juicy Lucy, which actually Barack Obama went to historically, right? Historically. Something like that. What, what's, I forget the name of it always. Matt's Bar. Matt's Bar. Matt's Bar. It's in South Minneapolis. It's not too far from here. Should probably do They that. only take cash. It's really good. It's actually, it's it's simple and very good. Yeah. Let's do it. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta fatten you up. Yeah. Only got a few days to do it. Them Juicy Lucy's will do the job. Yeah. Let's take a burger and inject more fat into it. <laughs> we got this. Yeah, we actually got, 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 the, got the question. Are you going to keep Alex to the Juicy Lucy? I think we just saw that. Now. Yeah. There's a couple of good options. Yeah. Mm. Cheese injection. <laughs> is that good or is it bad? Where are we? Is this the corridor? This is the, this is the engine room. We remember we exerted. Oh, we we yeah, took yeah, damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so also, I might have. That's right. Got to show them a good time. I mean, I, I know a lot of good restaurants, but also I'm gonna make some food for you. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. Yeah, we should food. cook. Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd love to. Do you cook as well? Oh yeah. Nice. Yeah. All right. That'd be awesome. Um, so Tuesday is the movie stream, and Thursday is the food review stream. <laughs> yes. Uh, on my painting team, I talk about movies a lot. Um, so we, 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 we don't get a lot of painting done. Yeah. Okay. That, that was funny. It was like, 
when I was unpacking my bag uh, when we landed on Sunday, I think it was, uh, up at Dave's place, I realized like the only thing I forgot was my glasses. Oh no. Yeah. What do you but need them for? Paint. Oh, okay. But, so, but, not, but not bad. Okay, okay. So you can't focus on things that are like close up? Yeah, no, it's, it's, they're actually, I don't know what you call it. It's like when one lens is like going one way and the other is going the other way. It's like a, astigmatism. Astigmatism, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, so I just have a hard time focusing for long periods of time because okay. my eyes get tired, which is painting. It's kind of like, that's kind of what it is. Long period of time. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I've definitely felt that like when I, I had a couple of long days of painting recently yeah. and I, I wear contacts because then my glasses don't get into the frame. Yeah. Um, and like at like hour eight or hour six, like somewhere in there, like I have a really hard time focusing on like what's in front of me. But yeah. I think it's because of the contacts mostly. But I, I can I can imagine how that is. Yeah. Um, all right. OK. We are in the correct room. We have a pulse rate of six. Yes. We need that thing. Yes. We gotta spawn demons first, so roll us a D6 yes, here. Yes, we don't want one. We don't want one of them shooting demons. No, we, we don't. We don't, want, don't roll. Don't roll. Is, there, is there like the demon that spawns as far away as you as possible, exits the door without creating a boss? <laughs> no, there is not. There's a six. There's a six. That All right. The frog, right? Yeah. So we're we're gonna duck. So we're gonna spawn a gun demon as far away as possible, but in line of sight. Yeah. And then a frog demon, yeah. um, in uh, out of line of sight, up to four spaces away. We've done this before. Yes, we've been we've been here before. We've been here before. The what? coward demon, yes. <laughs> yeah, more coward demons, please. Are we doing a collab while he's here? We absolutely are. Uh, yeah. we're, we're making a little skit. We have the screenplay in progress right now. This is a nail biter. But love, we can't find the right room, so we had to exert. Uh, we're we are we're low on health right now. Yeah. Um, Was that right? Was that line of? Yeah, that, that seems right, yeah. Because it's like, I, it, from the way the rules are written, it seems like you want the demon to be as close to you as humanly possible, but yeah. also out of line of sight. Know, yeah. um, all right, so we have a pulse rate of six. There's five dice. Oh. Uh, roll six dice to see how many uh, demon actions oh, and player no. actions there are. <laughs> okay, it's an even split. Yeah. All right, a one, a three, and a three, which is an attack, an evade, an evade. Attack, evade, evade. Okay, so. Ow. See, here's the weird thing is the frog demon is closest to us. True. So would he go first or no? That still evades me, kind of. So, Malev, if you're here in this situation, we rolled an evade, we rolled two evades and a move. We have a gun demon um, who is right here. Uh, oh, that's confusing. Right here, that guy. <laughs> Um, I should just look at what I'm doing in real life instead of the camera. Yeah. And then we have a frog demon who's like behind. What are you doing? You blocking my thing? I'm pointing at. Um, Sorry, that was the wrong button. That's okay. And a frog demon right here. So would they both gain an evade? And then the and then the demon who has the gun shoots us. It basically, are you always picking the most optimal choice for the demons? That kind of makes sense. Yeah, it would, but. <laughs> but then we die even more. Right, yeah. Yeah. Um, smoke demon, he's in the corner just blazing a demonic J. <laughs> <laughs> in effect, yes, the frog demon would move. Okay, so he would, okay, I understand what you're saying. So he would gain two evade tokens because he's a frog demon. This next one would downgrade to a move. Oh, yeah. So okay. he moves four spaces. Oh, get oh, okay. So, okay, so that makes sense. Closest gets the thing and then, yeah. What, both would get evasion? Both would get evasions and the frog would move. Okay. So both have evasion tokens and the frog move. And we that's three actions. Six and there's a thing and there's a, okay. Yeah, okay, so we got... Yeah, frog with two evasion tokens? He did, yeah. What do we do now? So we can't kill the frog. He's got two hit points and two evasion tokens. So if we burnt two actions on two blasts, that would that would kill him. And then maybe we can style on him and move two spaces and gain an evasion token of our of our own. I don't think the flame frag is going to help us very much right, much right now. Because that's going to get messy. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's right by the area we need to be in. So do we just blast this frog we have and to, then? I mean, yeah. Yeah. So we'll we'll burn two of our actions on blast. Um, do we still have an invade token from last? No. I don't think those. No. I don't think so. Yeah. No. Um, so we'll blast. Yep. That's a good question, though. 
Um, there were two evades, yes, yes. So both get it. Malev, um, if you had an evasion token in one room and you moved into another room, do you do you keep the token? Pray, Scott, now you pray. And he uh, prays! We are pray. Okay, so we're gonna kill this frog, Dean. Kill the frog. And then we're gonna style on him. Uh, which is move two spaces and uh, gain an evasion token. Oh, yes. All right. Now, uh, oh yeah, now we're gonna die. Because uh, the guy's gonna, he's gonna shoot us now. Uh, mirror phase equal death. Right, so the mirror phase is this guy shoots us twice. Yes. We have an evasion token. Yeah, but that was two damage from that fellow, wasn't it? It was. So he, he, he shoots us twice, yes. so we have a chance to, to, to dodge these. True. So you always do this, you really only need to pass one of them. So, Jet, should I roll it or do you want to roll it? I like the Survivor confidence. does we need, we need keep one, evasions. We need one for alive. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> okay. So we dodge one, and then our evasion token absorbs the other yes. one. That's so awesome. we're alive still. We're still alive. This is good. Holy shit. Okay, so Malev answered. Excellent. So um, you do keep evasion tokens from room to room. So that's actually oh, a good idea so to maybe bank them up. Yeah. Like if you like have... If you can do the... The style um, on them. Style yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Do that. Exactly. Yeah, room. Okay. All right. We're in another wits phase. I'm just going to get a drink. Oh, absolutely. Can you grab me a Diet Mountain Dew? Yeah. All right, so we're in our uh, next wits phase here, um, and I we're still at a pulse rate of six, unfortunately, and let's see what happens. All right, another even split. Um, I think that was a three, actually. Uh, so three survivor actions, and we got a nice solid one, two, three, um, which is going to be um, an evade. He already has an evasion token. Um, thank you. Um, so because he already has an evasion token, that will downgrade to a move. So we'll do a move, move, attack. Oh, and I no. think actually it'll just be a move and yeah. two attacks. I don't think he needs the uh, two moves. because oh, it downgrades. It downgrades, yeah. Or I guess it really upgrades, honestly. Kind of, yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll roll this one. This is two attacks. And both of these are two damage. It honestly doesn't matter. If anything goes through, we die. Ah! Oh, okay. Death. Instant death. All right, we got through three rooms. Yep. That was great. Yeah. All right, I think we gave it one more try. What do you say? One more try. One more try. Most certainly okay. Certainly one more try. Mountain Dew at 9 p.m. I'm crazy. <laughs> Living the Vida Loca. Yeah. Also, I feel like caffeine doesn't really affect me a whole lot. Yeah. 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 No, I'm. I'm. Um, I'm not too bad with it either. Are you in that boat? I just never drink caffeine like that. It comes in the shape of coffee. Oh, okay, right. Yeah. I still have the taste buds of a child, and I think coffee is gross. <laughs> All right. I'm with you, Scott. Thank you. Uh, we're rolling for a room, right? The damn exert. I, it was annoying, but we need we need the one room, you know? And so it's like, yeah. got to get it. Yeah. Um, Malab, can you exert right in the beginning? Like in the fir very first room, because well, that would make sense. Like that's like the seems like the most opportune time, right? Because if you take one point of damage, exerting only one time means yeah. you are one point away from death. Yeah. Um, but yeah, let's see what room we get. Hope for a four. One that's a corridor. corridor. All right, let's do the A side this time. Yeah. yeah why not? All right, screw it. Let's exert right away yeah, and so just we're going get. For four. Going for four. Yeah. All right, we're gonna do the A. It's very helpful to have the developer of the game in the chat. I was going to say, yeah. Very. <laughs> All right, we'll do 4A this time. Okay. Someone says, it does seem a bit odd that the gun demon moves into attack. Yeah, it, he does have a special rule that allows him to do bonus damage when he's near you. Okay. So that, I mean, there is some incentive for him to want to move toward you. Yeah. I mean, it could be a shotgun. It doesn't, that is true. It doesn't say. That it's is true. Go. This is the other entrance. Malev says, so I'm going to change the wording on expert before print. You add to your die roll. So in this case, adding two to your roll of one is only a three. Oh, so, okay, so you can... <laughs> Malev, 
Don't make the game harder. <laughs> um, the exert just adds to your own. Well, you also say in the rules that exert allows you to do it on the room check. So if you just add it to the dice roll, that would just kind of give you a different room instead of you being able to pick what room it is. Um, which is not a bad thing. Um, but it seems like that wouldn't be worth it. Like if, uh, it's like basically in the beginning of the game, you want to roll a four, right? And so if you are allowing exerting in the beginning, then you want a, a, a four or a two, because then you could add two to the dice roll and get a four. Um, I don't know if that feels really worth it. Um, but yeah, maybe it is. Okay, we got another barrel right there. Is that it? And the console's right there. Yep. Is there a lock thing right there? Yep. Perfect. All right, cool. Um, I think last time we were in this room, we came through here. So, so let's go over here this time. Yeah. We can actually sneak out of We can. All right, roll us some demon spawns. Let's yeah. see what happens in our last room. A three or a six. Um, I don't like three. A six. A six is fine. It's the, it's the frog and the shooter. Again. All right. You know how it works. Um, a, prowling, a prowling frog and an attacking gun demon. How's, is, that, is that line of sight? Um, no, Darn. I don't think it is actually. Darn. That One corner to another there. corner of the square? I think it is actually. It is. Because then we can shoot the battle. Oh my gosh, yes. It, it is, yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's a, any corner of that square to any corner of our square is in line side, I believe. And then we need this one out of line. Right there. Malev says the grid rooms are four, five, and six, so exerting can just modify a roll. So if you roll a six and you exert, you're not adding two to the roll. You just you just change the roll to whatever you want. And that same thing happens when you roll a four or a five or a six. Um, okay. All right. Wits phase. We have a pulse of five right out of the gate because we oh, yeah. we shot for the right. The right room right away. That's good. That's, that's better. That's more actions for us. Yes. So we got a move and an evade. Um, so I think the frog is going to move. Frog is going to move and evade. Uh, the frog moved three, right? Yeah, he moves three. So essentially, the frog can just go all the way there. And then the frog gains a vicious then. two evasion tokens. Okay. Now we have three actions. Yes. So we can blitz through the demon, because I, I think where we need to go is like right in here, right? Yeah, that's where we need to go. We also don't want to get shot by the, the gun demon. The gun demon, and we also don't want to get stabbed by the frog. <laughs> can we jump over the wall? <laughs> no, I don't think we can. All right, so what does blitzing get us? One, two, three. We can style on them, one, two, and then interact. Or shoot at that thing. Can we do that? This thing? And the barrel explodes, and the demon dies. I don't think the demon dies. Oh dear. Okay. I think it just lights on fire no, and okay. takes one damage. No, okay. So it's not, it's not incredibly effective. Yeah, no, not really. Yeah, then it's better to activate the thing. I think we have enough to do all of it. So if we blitz yeah. through the demon, Yeah. Does that one, two, three damage us? I think we have to roll to evade. Yeah. Um, and then we style on them. Or we use the evade point we already have. Ooh. Didn't we have one? I don't think we have one. This is, okay. a, this is a new game. This right? is a new game. It's hard. They all blur together when we die so often. I should often. get one of those mountain juice. <laughs> um, and then we style on them for one, two points of movement. Now we have yeah. an evasion token. Yeah. And then we can interact with the console. Yes. Um, so we do have to try to dodge a swing. Yes. Because uh, we did blitz through we someone. Didn't. We don't. We're at a pulse of six. six. Oh no. Um, but we are interacting with the console. Yes. There are no nearby demons. No. And so that means that we do uh, turn on the oh, yes. emergency. No, the power is turned on now. The switch. Excellent. Switched. Okay. We did the things. Now the demons mirror our actions. So we did a blitz, a style, and an interact. Yes. Let's see what that means for our demon actions. So that means, Does hey. the power... Um... Flip the switch. Flip the switch. Does the power do anything? 
Yeah, that's the first more thing you have to do. It, yeah, but more than that, is it like... Uh, oh, does it do something more? Know. I don't know. Yeah. Turn on the lights. Um, or, uh, Black Arrow, thanks for the raid. <laughs> the demon just come through and turn the power back off. <laughs> <laughs> so rude. <laughs> um, PA Gamma Dad says, definitely gonna get a copy, getting a copy after my wallet recovers from setting my son up with a new wardrobe for an internship in DC. Ouch, ouch. Mm. When the power was out, you could only see two spaces for ranged attacks. Oh, okay. oh. now the lights oh, are it's, on. Oh, it's dark, okay. Cool. But now you're short power, okay. But the demons get to do a mirror action, so. Yes, so they move, move, and interact. Yep, you're right. So uh, they're gonna move once, they're going to evade a second time, and then they're going to evade a, sorry, evade a first time and then a second time. And so... That would be the closest one now. Okay. So he's going to move three. One, two, three. Does the, yeah. He's going to evade once and then uh, the next evasion does not downgrade because it's a mirror action, not a demon action. Perfect. Okay. So... so we got six. We do have six. And there's demons uh, everywhere. And there are demons everywhere. So why don't you roll those six dice for us and see how many survivor actions we get. I uh, see. It's Dominic, it's a two, three, one, subscribing with Prime. Thank you, Dominic. Appreciate the support. Two, two, two. I think that's, two, two. I think that's three evades, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So, interestingly, evades, and then we know those downgrades are to a shoot. I think those are three. I think two is a move. I think three is an evade. Okay. Yeah. So you're right. I think this is going to be. Can't see us right now, but he's gonna move, and then he's gonna shoot us two times. Excellent. Okay, we do have an evasion token. One. We have one. So you are allowed to roll one non-four, four up. <laughs> and that concludes demon shit. Thank you for watching. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. We played we, five times, right? Yeah. First, first two were rough. Yes. Maybe the first three were rough. The fourth, we like actually got to three rooms. Yes. And then the fifth time, we actually, actually progressed past the first stage. I put the power on, yeah. Yeah, so I feel like, even though we're losing a lot, yeah. I feel like we are still like making progress. But I think that there is... I can also see how like, maybe you'd really like, no, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. And then you sit, and then you don't, and then you want to do it again because you want to. Right, right. It know, has yeah. that like, yeah, you did that. Because if, if you if we would have completed this game now, done the whole thing, all the three rooms. Yeah, yeah. We'd be like, yep, play demon ship. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're, it's like a video game, right? It's like it's yeah. it's challenging. You want to keep trying it over and over again. Because I don't know. I think the one thing that you could do better that we aren't doing very well is you could, like I said earlier, you can really think about how your actions turn into mirror actions, and try to set yourself up for more success. Because we're, all we're yeah. thinking about right now is just we want to accomplish our thing without taking damage. Yes. We're not thinking about how that turns into the frog demon gaining yeah. two evasion tokens and being virtually invincible. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So at what point do we stop calling the, the, the player character the survivor? Okay. I see what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Thanks everyone. Progress being made. It is. <laughs> Uh, five more games and you should have this licked. <laughs> Get good nerds. Uh, made back all my losses and then some. Started with under 2k points, now I have 4k. Well, I'm glad that our deaths were your benefit, digital soul. Just kidding, I'm not. Um, but that was demon ship. It was. I think I have a pretty good handle on the game. I'm looking forward to trying out more. It seems very challenging and you know, after talking with you and chat about it, I think it's good that it's challenging. Um, so, yeah. Doom Eternal is not an easy video game and this shouldn't be an easy game either. Um, but yeah, that was an awesome game. I mean, game. If, a, if one would get really, like, pissed off, you could just personal tweak the rules a little bit. You could. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think there, I think there are some room, there's some room for some, like, house rules being made here. Um, like, maybe, you know, every time you enter a new room, you, you bump up your health. Gain you know, one stuff health. like that. Yeah, or maybe you start at a pulse rate of two, so, like, yeah. the moment you exert, you're not, like, you're not, you're not one point away or two points away from being dead. Yeah. Something like that. Um, that that might make it a little moves. bit easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you could have like you could have like difficulty modes, like in video yeah. games, right? Yeah. 
Um, I think the hardest mode in, in Doom Eternal is called Nightmare Mode, and then like the second hardest is called Hurt Me Plenty, yeah. and the kind of you know kind of there's a range. And they're kind of like what happened to us? Mm -hmm. Two spaces from the door, and then and you die. <laughs> Yes. Um, PA Gamer Dad says, great tune tonight. Really enjoyed watching. Glad to hear that. Black, Black Arrow says, I missed the game. Do it again. No, you got to check the VOD. The VOD will go out sometime tomorrow evening. Or is it, is it Saturday? What do we do? Friday? Saturday mornings. Saturday morning, the gaming VOD will come out. So you can check it then. Um, Y'all should raid Widow Goblin. Let's absolutely do that. Sure. Uh, what's that guy doing here? Hey, he's, he's over. He's in the States right now. This is actually his first time in America. It's, it's a shame he's in Minnesota for the first time. It's not a very eventful state. But, you not know, talking about, about the burgers. Yeah, okay, the burgers. That's true. We have some... You know, there's actually a lot of really good food in Minnesota. Um, we, should, we should try some. Yeah. Um, yeah. First time in America. Hi. Malev, I found out that you are in Wisconsin, right? Is that what you said, Evan? It's no, Wisconsin. I was wrong. He's in Salt Lake City. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I knew that. I knew that. Um, Minnesota has a mall. It, it's true. It, the largest mall in America, if not the world, I think just America, is in Minnesota. Oh, dear. It's called the Mall of America. We don't have to go. No, we don't. Thank you. There's a lot of people. Um, Ghost Boat is already being made. Oh, guys, does that mean we have to call Demon Chip what the name of the game actually is now? Because there's going to be an actual Ghost Boat? Um, uh, is Widow Goblin her handle on stream? Or on Twitch? Uh, thoroughly enjoyed Alex's European sophistication on the show, classing up the joint. Okay, Don Haney. Yeah. What are you saying? Okay. All right. Um, uh, it's been great. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. I, I like this game a lot. Yeah. I'm looking forward to trying out some more. Yeah. Um, thank you to Alex for being here with us. If you guys don't know who 52 Miniatures is, he's another YouTuber. And where can you find yourself, Alex? Uh, on YouTube. On YouTube? Yeah. Uh, uh, on Instagram as well? On Instagram and okay. YouTube. That's about it. All right, cool. It down. And what kind of content do you normally make? I mean, uh, most of the time, uh, videos about painting, but not sort of tutorial. It's more sort of stories and okay. other thoughts about painting and building. And right. As you said, pretty cinema, cinematographic, cinematic, cinematic, maybe. Cinematic. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. the adjective. <laughs> it's a jet lag. <laughs> it's also non-native language. Yeah. Um, all right, guys. Oh, yeah. Uh, thanks for hanging out. We're gonna raid Widow Goblin if we can figure out what her. Uh, yeah, I got it what her handle is, but thank you for hanging out, guys. Thanks for the support. Thanks for watching Demon Ship. Indeed. We will catch you next Tuesday when me and Alex are painting yeah. together, and then uh, we're without skipping. Without the glasses. Without the glasses. We're going to try. Yeah. Um, and then we're skipping next Thursday. No stream then for the gaming stream. Uh, otherwise, though, uh, catch you guys later. See ya. <laughs>